Okay. Uh, I'm going to get started in a minute. Uh, yeah, I kind of flaked out on the uh, marathon yesterday, but uh, things happened, so yeah. But today, we pick this right back up. Like, I, I will do this today. Um, and that's kind of what I say every time I, I, uh, I start up this thing, but yeah, uh, let's see what time is it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get started in a couple minutes. Um, and, uh, again, the goal is to, to beat at least one of the games on the Quattro Adventure cartridge. Just at, at least one of them. Uh, I, at this point, I don't really care which one, but I, uh, I'm gonna go for either Super Robin Hood or Linus Spacehead. I think those are the ones I have the best chance at. So, uh, yeah, gonna get started in a couple minutes, so, uh, you know, just waiting to see if anyone shows up. Chill out and relax. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some, uh, some water, you know, something nice to drink. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I decided to go with some orange juice because I don't know orange juice. It'll uh, I don't know. It'll inspire me. It'll give me a little energy to uh, you know to to beat this right. <laughs> okay, you know, rolling up the sleeves. Uh, you know, getting my earpiece in and all that. And, you know, getting all orange juiced up. Let's see, my controller is, it looks like it's, you know, it's a controller, all right. Uh, everything, everything seems to work just fine on it. So, getting ready, you know, about one or two more minutes and get things started. I'm just making sure I'm 100% in the mood to do some Quattro adventure. Uh, and uh, let me, uh, yeah, get the earpiece in. And let's see, let me just, uh, I got a slightly different setup to, uh, to view the Twitch chat this time. Uh, I'm, do like, I'm viewing Twitch chat on the same computer, uh, that I'm broadcasting from. Uh, just because I, I think the other one was having issues with seeing the chat. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Alright. Enough, uh, yeah, enough stalling and, you know, sipping on my juice. Uh, no, n enough of that. Let's, let's just do it. You know, like, I think I'm as prepared, as ready as I will ever be. Um, I don't think I can get much more prepared for the Quattro Adventure as I am right now. So, let's do it. Um, I, I guess I will start with, I don't know. I guess I'll start with Linus Spacehead. Like, I, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like Linus Spacehead, if anything, um, I don't know, it's, it, I, I, uh, I said it last time, and I still mean it, uh, Linus Spacehead is probably the most broken game on this cartridge, uh, like, I mean, it's the one that just doesn't work as well as all the other ones, um, but at the same time, it's also the easiest, which it's weird. Like, it's it's weird to say that, you know, it's, it's you know, horribly broken, but it's also, you know, it's also kind of easy, too. Oh, whoa! <laughs> no, uh, nope, nope. Uh, gotta start over. 
Yeah, see, you know, if I die on, on stage one, like, no, uh, <laughs> not gonna have a chance. So, let's do this again. Uh, this is really, uh, it's really the kind of game that, like, if you don't... I don't know, like, all the games on Quattro Adventure are like this. Uh, it's just, it's the nature of something that, um... Well, I don't know, like, it's, it's the nature of a game that, you know, like, you lose all your lives and you have to start over from the very beginning. Um, it's just sort of the nature of that type of thing, right? Is that if you, you know, if you start losing lives early on, like, you, you, you're doomed. You're just straight up doomed. Uh, you know, you're a dead man walking, basically. I love, I love that, how, like, you can just straight up, uh, like, look, you know, I, like, I'm above water. I mean, I have plenty of oxygen. I don't need any more oxygen, but... But no, no, Linus, you know, he keeps drowning even when his head's above the water. So, yeah, uh, mechanically speaking, like, this is the simplest, easiest game on the cartridge. Uh, and that's, you know, that's, that's why I think I have a chance to beat it, right? The problem with the game is that while it's so simple and easy, it's also just got problems. I mean, it's... Like, the controls are the worst, the least responsive out of all of them. And, uh, you know, when you're dealing with unresponsive controls in the game that... Like, okay, the last time I played this, I got pretty pretty far, but I died uh, because I just couldn't figure out what was even happening to me. Uh, and also, um, yeah, also, like, in addition to not being able to figure out what the fuck is even happening, uh, I also ran into this problem where, uh, yeah, like, Linus just kind of phased... Like, he just sort of phased right on through the floor. Uh, not sure what that was all about. Like, uh, I, I jumped, you know, like, I, I would jump onto a platform, right? And, uh, yeah, I, I would jump up onto a platform, and he would just sort of, uh, well, I mean, he just kind of phased right through it, right? So, you know, that brought my line of spacehead adventure to a, uh, to an abrupt end last time, but... Ooh, that was close. That was fucking close. But you know what? You know what I want? I want this. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I, uh, mmm. Mmm. I, uh, oh boy. I fucking, uh, yeah, I, I overstepped my bounds there. Um, yeah, I just, I overstepped all the bounds because, goddamn. Yeah, so, okay, we're down a life, that's okay, uh, I, I just had to go for the fucking energy, didn't I? Like, I had to go for the weird energy bar thing, right? I mean, I, I knew that it was probably gonna get me killed, right? But I did it anyway. Either way, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna win this time. We're gonna, totally gonna beat it. God damn, Linus is so slippery. Like this is the this is the problem, right? It's an easy game. It's a simple game. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe easy isn't the the right word, but it's the easiest game on the cartridge, right? So like, what 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 makes it so much of a problem, right? Well, what makes it so much of a problem is that the controls are so fucking slippery. Like, I mean, things don't work the way you want them to, and that's a problem. Okay, did good there. All right, all right. Oh, goddamn! It, it's it's terrifying. It, it's terrifying to think I might have to play this whole game over again from start to finish. Um, it really is terrifying. Like this is the true horror right here. So okay, this level. I you know what? I actually like this level more than level two. Um, if, if only because there's less dumb jumps, uh, like, it's, it's actually pretty straightforward. I mean, there's lots of bullshit, don't get me wrong, okay? Like, you know, I'm running into some of the bullshit right now as I speak, um, but, like, for the most part, the bullshit is fairly, uh, it's fairly contained here, I want to say. 
Like, see, some some stupid things happen like that. Like, you know how I, you notice how I keep phasing through the platforms, and uh, it just seems a little weird how it all works. Yeah, that's a problem, right? But that's just Linus Spacehead, right? Um, no. Uh, this is this is actually not very bullshit. It, it's really not. Um, okay, we got to do this very carefully because if I go too fast. Yeah, see, if you go too fast, Linus will just it'll go out of control, and that's, you know, if you lose control of Linus, you know, that's really not the game's fault. That's your fault. <laughs> okay, hold on. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. Okay, good. Yeah, the, um, the seagulls. Uh, the seagulls are really the only thing I, uh, I dread about this level, but the good thing is that they don't kill you. Uh, they just sort of knock you back. And I can deal with that. Like, I can, you know, I can deal with being robbed out of progress. Um, because, you know, I can just, I can, I can make a comeback, right? Yeah, it's really the weird, like, it's the phasing. Like, where he just kind of phases through platforms, that's, uh, that's what gets me, really. Uh, more than anything else, really. Okay, look at that. See, I, uh... I, I kind of knew, like I kind of knew that uh, you know I, I'd need that uh, that energy bar that I, you know that energy dar uh, that energy bar that I fucking died for in the last stage. Yeah, I knew I would need that shit. I knew it. Now, okay, goddamn, there's another energy bar down there, but I just <sighs> like I, I know I need it, right? I know I fucking need it, but I, I, I can't do it. I can't I can't bring myself to just drop down there and lose hard earned fucking progress. I, I can't I can't do it. Like it, it hurts too much to do that kind of thing to myself. Alright, well we're done with this level. Oh yeah, level three complete. Mmm, fun times. So yeah, this is the level, this is as far as I've gotten in Linus Spacehead. Uh, and the reason is is just because, I don't know, strange things start happening here, right? Like, Linus will just phase through platforms, he gets knocked around so fucking much. Now, see, fortunately, they throw you a bone there, right? That's the last bone this game is gonna throw you, okay? Like, I'm just, I'm telling you right now, that's the last bone. Uh, okay, now, can I do something with the head here? Now, there is like a little trick, right? Yeah, there, there is like a little trick you can do with that. Yeah, that's the trick, right there. Uh, unfortunately, that trick only... So, here's where I am, right? Like, here's where I'm stuck with the game, okay? Uh, you know, where I'm... And you know, I, okay, look, I said I would not save state, right? But I need to practice this particular thing, right? Like, I need to practice it. I'm not, you know, honestly, I don't, I don't think I'll be able to, uh, yeah, I'm just going to save the state here. Uh, is there a quick, like a quick, yeah, quick save state? Just, you know, shift one. And then to load it. Okay, so, so like, here's the thing, okay? I have no, I have absolutely no, you know, pretense that I'm going to beat Linus Spacehead in this run. I'm definitely going to have to make another run at it, okay? So what I want to do is I just want to practice this level, right? I just want to practice it, and that's, see, that's the thing, is that, um, like, I, I just need to fucking practice Linus Spacehead. It's just this one stage. I don't know what, like, right here, right here, I don't know what the game wants me to do. Okay, like I just I just don't know. I don't know what the hell the game wants me to do. So I I need to practice. Okay, like I need to I need to practice my Linus Spacehead uh, so that I might have a chance. You know, just wow. I I don't know how I did that. Okay, well you know I feel like I was onto something there. And again, you know, I'm, I, uh, I am cheating like a bitch right now, but it's only because I want to practice the stage. I'm not gonna, 
Yeah, like, I, I just need to practice. I just seriously need to practice. I don't... yeah. So, like, I'm looking at this. There doesn't seem to be any way to actually get over there, so, like, what, what, what does the game want me to do here? Oh, I see. I see. That's what the game wants me to do, right? <laughs> wow, the game actually expects you to get your ass handed to you right there. What the hell just happened there? Like, like, what the actual literal fuck just happened there? Okay, so I'm, I'm done, you know, no more, yeah. So I, I, I kind of have an idea of how I'm supposed to get past that little thing, right? So, yeah, now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to do it. Like, I, I only, like, save-stated twice just to, just basically to have a chance to, like, practice this whole thing, this whole section. Oh, that was nice. <sighs> Man, like, it's just... The thing is, is there, there really does seem to be a lot of, uh, yeah, no, you know, no save states anymore. That was all just practice. That was just a practice, that one thing. Now I know, I, I basically, I know what I'm supposed to do now. It doesn't really make it any easier, but I know what I'm supposed to do now. Um, and I die. Yeah. I really, I don't know, maybe I need more practice at this. Like, they're, like, okay, here's the thing, right? Like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, what I'm trying to practice is, okay, look, these this fucking tail thing, right? Like, how how do I, like, how do I not get him to swing his tail, right? Because it, it just seems random. Like, it seems completely random as to whether or not he swings his tail. Like, just look at that. It, it just seems totally random as to whether he swings the tail or not, right? Now, see, that's... yeah, like, so that's basically what I'm supposed to do there, right? Okay. And look, they even... they even expect you to do that. Yeah, see, they, they expect you to, uh... Hmm... Okay, so like I'm I'm getting some progress in. That's nice. <laughs> what what are you even supposed to? What are you even supposed to do here? Like I'm looking at it, I don't see a solution to this shit. Unless like I can get knocked. Okay, so that's the solution, is get knocked back. Get knocked back on your ass. So, like, the solution is get knocked on your ass. That's the solution. <laughs> nice. I love it. Okay, that works. Kind of. Uh, just a never-ending cycle of getting knocked on your ass. It's a never-ending cycle of being knocked flat on your ass. It's great. It's a never-ending cycle. Oh, it never ends. <laughs> <laughs> like, just look at this shit. Like, look at what, what is even happening to me right now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like, okay, I, I have to practice this, okay? Like, I'm never gonna get past this whole section if I don't practice it. So, like, I, I'm really trying to just, you know, I just want to practice this fucking thing. That's all I want to do. I just want to practice this whole stage. Uh, because if I can't, like, if I can't get better at the stage, then I'm never gonna clear it. I mean, it's just never gonna happen. Like, it, okay, it seems like you need to have, a, like, a, a really good precision jump there. Uh, if you don't, like, you're just not gonna... You're not gonna make that. And, like, look at that. Like, I, I don't even know what happens there. Like, it's just bad programming. And that's what I meant when I said... Like, when I said that Linus Spacehead was just programmed terribly, uh, you know, this is a... It's a problem, right? Ugh. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, okay, so like, I have to practice this whole section. I just, I have to do it, I have to practice. So like, okay, here, the only way I know of to stop this is like, you just have to, see, you have to get knocked back. You have to do it, you have to get knocked on your ass. Okay, and then that lets you, that lets you get a radio piece. Oh, nice! So like, it, it kinda, alright. Wow, so that's that, right? Okay, well... That was a good practice. So, okay, like, I'm just gonna say right now, this is my practice run, okay? So, like, I'm, I'm save stating at parts that I need to practice, okay? So, like, if I, uh, like, like, basically, basically, um, how I'm, how I'm gonna go about doing this is, like, this is a practice run, okay? This is a practice run. Uh, it does not count towards my completion of Quattro Adventure, um... No, see, I'm just trying to fucking... I'm just trying to get past... Like, I, I'm, I'm just practicing. Like, I'm just... I'm practicing the game to, you know, to figure out a good, you know, pro strat to beat Linus Spacehead. And then... Oh, wow, like, that that thing has a hitbox on it. Okay, so, like, see, look, lesson learned. Like, okay, imagine, if you will, if I had, you know, like, if I only had, like, one life, right? And I, uh, you know, I got to this part of the game. And then I died to that. Like, I wouldn't even know why I died. I'd just die, you know? And it would be the- like, it, it would. It would be the most frustrating fucking thing on the planet, you know? Ooh. <laughs> that monkey likes to throw shit. You know, I have no doubt that it is shit, too, so... Alright, this level's actually- whoa! Okay, the monkey can- the monkey can throw shit. He can throw a lot of shit. Okay, that's interesting. So the monkey- alright, so I don't have to fear the monkey as much as I initially thought. And see, that's what practicing is for. See, now I know that I, I don't have to fear dying from the monkey. So like, if I, uh- like, basically, if I'm put in a position where, you know, like, it's- it's- you know, you have a choice between getting hit by the monkey or hit by one of the ants, it's like, now you know. You know, now you know that uh, you can afford to get hit by the monkey. You cannot afford to get hit by the, uh, to get hit by the ants. So, see, now you know that, and you can maybe even use it to your advantage. Uh, and that's, you know, that's what practice runs are for. Okay, so like, here's what's here's what's really bugging me. Uh, those ants. Okay, look, I need to just practice their hitbox, cause like I, it just seems like I'm getting killed for no reason by the ants. So like, okay, so when they come straight at you, like when the ants are coming straight at you, uh, they actually their their hitbox is actually pretty small. But I, I see what it is now. I see what it is now. So like, okay, here's the deal, right? The deal is that while they have a very small hitbox, like, you know, on, uh... Like, okay, they, they have a small hitbox in the front, right? 
but they have a really big hitbox over top of them. So, like, you have to actually clear them. It's almost like they're crabs, right? Like, it's, it's almost like they took the crab enemy and, uh... Oh, look at that. So, okay, that's interesting. So, like, if... If the... Okay, so, if the monkey hits you... Uh, yeah, if the monkey hits you, uh... You just fall off the tree. That's... Okay, so that's... Yeah, no, that, that's not, uh... That's... that's bad. But, uh, as I was saying about the... As I was saying about the ants, it's like they're using the crab hitbox, right? Um, but just repurposed for, you know, it's an ant now! You know, like, it's... it's an ant now, so... Yeah, it, it's like, uh, the hitbox... Like, okay, the thing is, the ant has a very small hitbox on the... on the... on the sides. Like, on the left and right, the ant has a very small hitbox, but on the top, its hitbox is almost, like, as tall as, um... as the crab in the first level. It's... it, it is just like they repurposed, you know, the programming, right? So, uh, yeah, it leads to this situation, you know, this kind of weird, uh, very non-ideal situation where... Like, you're, you're trying to dodge, uh, you know, you're trying to jump over it, but, like, you know, you, you hit thin air, right? Like, you you hit something that isn't there, and it kills you, and that's, uh, that's what happens with the ants, right? Mmm. I fell nice and good. Also, those monkeys are drawn really fucking shitty. Uh. Okay, see, look, I, I keep... This keeps happening, right? Like, I keep hitting the ants, and I just die. Like, I, I hit the ants, and I fucking die. Uh, and it's because their hitbox is fucking huge on the top. Like, goddamn, is their hitbox huge on the top. And it's weird, because, like, their side-to-side -side hitbox is not very large at all. But it's just... BAM! You know, like, right there on the top. Yeah, see, like, that keeps happening, where, uh, you, like, you, you run into it, and... Okay, let me, let me, uh, redo here. Okay, so, again, this is a practice run. This is not for real, this is, this is practice. But I'm learning, like, what I'm learning is I'm learning the hitbox, right? Like, I'm learning how these fuckers, uh, hitboxes are just not programmed very well, right? Like, that's what I'm learning right now. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of my goal here, is I'm just, I'm just trying to learn, you know, how big are the hitboxes, how much leniency do I have, uh, like, how soon do I have to jump to not get murdered by something that isn't even fucking there? You know, that's what I'm trying to figure out, right? Okay, how do I... Oh, I see. I see. I get it now. Okay, you know what? Actually, um, let, let's restart. Let's restart the cartridge. Um, because again, that I, I feel like I got good practice in. Like, I, I feel like I did a good job at kind of understanding what Linus Spacehead is about. Um. Also, the physics, like, the physics for this level are very different than the physics on the level I was just in. And I don't mean that it's more floaty, which... Like, that's what you would expect, right? You would expect that the underwater stage is more floaty than, you know, the stage that's on land, right? That's what you would expect, but you would be wrong if that's what you think, no. Uh, like, the physics are actually much, like, heavier here than they are, uh, in that other stage. Okay, there's no bubbles coming up. I need, I need bubbles. I need bubbles. Okay, look, I'm just gonna die here, so let's restart again. Like, man, it's, there's just no room for error when it comes to these games. <clears throat> I mean, like, the way it works is that you know, you get hit, you, uh, you die, you die three times, it's game over. So, I mean, you really don't have any sort of margin for error. Like, none at all. Like, and again, lives are precious, okay? Like, there are very few lives, uh, to be had here. 
So, I mean, if I die on stage one, I might as well just restart the game because it would be... Like, like here's the thing, is like, it would be much better to restart the game here on stage one than to restart the game on, you know, like, stage ten later on uh, because, you know, I'm one life short, right? Like, this is far more ideal. Uh, it's, it would be a far more merciful thing to, to do this than to, you know... To torture myself through like I don't know however many levels are in line of space head and then you know like get near the end and, and find oh you're one life short you know you if only you had one more life you could have done it so yeah this is a it's just to kind of save myself that sort of torture now there might be some uh, you know like there might be a little like something over here I feel like there could be nope nope there's nothing over there I wasn't too sure, you know, couldn't couldn't be too sure. <laughs> okay, hmm, fun times. So I have a, I do have a much better understanding of like the physics of Linus Spacehead now. Um, like, see, before I was just kind of shooting around in the dark, trying to, like, you know, like, w why are the ants hitting me when I'm not, I'm not even touching them? You know, like, why, you know, why is this happening? I, I didn't know, right? But see, you know, through the magic of save states, uh, you know, like, I, I, not, I didn't cheat. You know, like I said, uh, that was just a practice run. Didn't count. But, but what it let me do is it let me kind of play around, right? It, it let me sort of test the physics, as it were, to get a better idea of, okay, look, what can and can't I do, right? Yay! Got me a, an extra life. Good times. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna fucking need it. Oop. Okay, get ready to make a jump here. Oop. And, uh, you know, I, I got told, you know, yesterday that uh, someone with more skill could totally breeze through this, and I beg to differ. It's, it's not a matter of skill at fucking all. Like, nothing about Linus uh, Spacehead, like, like, absolutely nothing about Linus Spacehead involves skill. Uh, I mean, okay, look, there is a, like, there's a minimal level of skill, right? Like, there's a minimal level of, look, you need to be this, you know, you need to be this tall to ride, you know, you need to have this much experience with, with video, you know, with shitty video games in general, right? Okay, look, there is a little bit of that, right? But no, the most of what Linus Spacehead is, like, the most of what makes it, you know, so frustrating and difficult has nothing to do with skill, it, it has everything to do with the fact that the game is programmed terribly and things don't work the way you expect them to work. So really, it's all about memorizing the levels. See, there's a difference, there's a difference between skill and brute force memorization. Brute force memorization is what I'm doing right now. It's, you know, I've played these levels so many fucking times, that like I know I know when things are gonna come like I know I know what's gonna happen before it actually happens so I can just kinda deal with it right I mean at least you know for the first like four levels of the game that's true right uh, but the thing is is that that's not skill like nothing about that involves player skill uh, it has everything to do with memorization and that's a whole different it's a whole different skill set if you will Whew. Man, I just don't want to fall off this fucking thing. Alright, we're getting near the top now. Okay, is that gonna come up? Yeah, let's, let's get down. Okay. Alright, two boulders and we're good to go. And we are getting very near the top now. Oh god. Oh god. 
Like, look at that shit. Like, and, and the thing is, like, that's not, like, there's no pattern to those birds, right? Like, they just spawn randomly. So, okay, look, look at that shit. I managed to make it all the way through level 3 without getting hit by anything, without making any serious fall. Good. Now, this is what does me in every time. Now, you know, I've, I've been doing this a couple times, and I've kind of learned that, look, while some of this is skill, a lot of it is just, it's... Like, the thing is, there's a certain order of events, right? A an order of operations, if you will, to the Linus Spacehead formula. Um, yeah, there's just certain things you have to do, or not do, as it were. Okay. Now, see, I thought that would be safe, right? Because, you know, you, you kind of get the feeling like there's a pattern to it all, right? Okay, jump over it. Bam. Okay. Now things are going to get more tricky. <laughs> Man, this is so fucking, like... Oh, wow, I'm gonna fucking die. How am I not dead right now? Oh, wow. I, that that was... Uh, okay, look, if I'd actually, like, if I had taken the initiative there and just kept running, I would have been good. So, okay, look, like, we learned... Okay, look, that I'm not gonna say that's a legit strategy because goddamn was that random. Like, that was just the perfect... It was sort of like the perfect storm of bad video game physics that kind of allowed me to do that. You can't depend on that. You really can't depend on that. I mean, see, there's a little trick to it. Like, you can kind of, you can exploit the system, right? To kind of, to kind of get your way, right? But I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it. Like, see, like that right there, like, what just, what just happened to me right now? Um, yeah, that's a great example of, you cannot depend on the bad physics of this game. Like, sometimes the bad physics will fuck you. Sometimes they'll help you. You know, sometimes the bad physics will help you. Uh, and that's great. You know, it's great when it happens, right? But no, most of the time it'll fuck you. And you, you cannot depend on exploitation of it. You know, you, you just can't. You really can't depend on exploiting the, the bad physics, um, because the bad physics will exploit you, you know? And they'll just kind of knock you around, and then, then you'll die. Okay, we're making progress. So, okay, okay. Um, if I get hit right here, it, it should knock me, like, uh, to where I need to go, right? There we go. See? You know, a little, uh, little exploitation. Not a whole lot, but a little. And good. Good. You know, we, we made it back to where we were. That's awesome. Alright, level 5, Treetop Tangle. I, I'm getting too good at, at exploiting the bad physics of this game. So, yeah, the problem here, uh, and I, I have to go for the energy things this time. Because I need the lives, because no save states, this is not a practice run. Uh, I'm actually trying as hard as I can. So, okay, yeah, problem with the ants, right? The problem is, is that their hitbox is much larger than it actually appears. Uh, so, like, if you jump even just the slightly wrong way, um, the ants will kill you. Uh, that's just... It's what'll happen, so I have to watch out for that. Now the monkeys, the things they throw, they won't kill you, but they'll really, uh, they'll knock you around, and that's no good. Oh, it's like dodging the crabs in the second level, it's, uh... Oh, oh god, see? There it is, there it is. Yeah, the ants, and their fucking ridiculously huge hitboxes. I mean, it's like... Like, like their hitbox is like twice as big as their body on the top. Uh, so if you jump just a little bit too early, right? Like if you're, like if you're just a millisecond too early, you'll get hit. 
but also you'll get hit if you're a millisecond too late because if you're a millisecond too late then like you'll you'll uh, you'll hit the hitbox on your way up you know on the upside of your jump uh, and that'll kill you just as dead so uh, yeah um, have fun figuring out exactly when to jump the ants but that's why I did a, uh, a practice run as it was uh, Oh god. The monkeys. The fucking monkeys. Alright. See, the monkeys are bad, but they're not- they're not lethal in and of themselves. Uh, like, the monkeys don't kill you, they just knock you around a little bit. They just slap you around a little. And that's fine, that's fine. I can deal with that. Okay, look. We've only got, like, one, maybe two more parts of this stupid radio. That's good. That's real good. It means we're almost done with this game. And this might be, like, the first time I, I legit beat a Quattro Adventure game. But I'm not gonna count my, uh, you know, no chickens will be counted just yet, okay? You know, we're, yeah, no, no chickens are to be counted just yet. Um... Oh shit. <laughs> like, I saw it coming, I knew it was coming, and I just, I had to take it. Like, there was nothing I could do. Uh, you know, I just, it was coming and I had to, I had to take my punishment. Okay, that was bad, but I can deal with that. Okay, let's get out of the monkey's field of vision, and let's jump over here, and can I get it? Yes, I got it. Let's fucking get out of here. Wait, how do I get- oh. Oh, that's good. I was really worrying there for a minute. I was like, okay, I'm at the top of the tree. What next? Okay, here we go. Balloon bother. I- oh god, I don't- oh god, what is even happening? Oh, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh shit, it's it's like the first level. It's like the first level of the game, where, uh... Okay, so it's it's like the first level of the game, where, um... Where, like, you know, in the first level you're underwater and you have... Like, you basically have all these bubbles, right? Uh, it, it's just like that, but now it's, uh... It's fucking balloons. I don't know why there's balloons out here, but, like... That's, you know, that's what we're doing. So I, I'm gonna guess that the point of this is to to what to get over here is is the level done? Is, is this the level? Oh no, that's not the level. That would be uh, that would be a little too good. That'd be a little a little too easy. You're playing Linus Spacehead. You, you fucking want easy here. Okay, so yeah, this is a bit of a problem. Alright, awesome. Level 6 complete. Rope Bridge Risks. So, okay, so like, there's a weird difficulty curve here. Uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but like, okay, some of the levels are really hard. Other levels, just kind of retardedly easy, right? So, okay, here's what we gotta deal with in this one. So apparently there's bees, right? They'll push me around. That's not good, that's not fun. Well, I guess I just have to die. <laughs> okay, see, this is another one of those things where I, I probably should have, like, I don't know, I probably should have gone through a practice run of it. Uh, okay, so if I, like, here's here's a little trick I learned. Uh, yeah, see, a little a little trick I fucking learned is, like, if you if you turn around real fast, like, uh, like, if you do this, they can't they can't knock you see they, they can't knock you if you if you just turn around um, that's a, a sweet you know that's one of my uh, sweet Linus spacehead tips and or tricks uh, is that if you're gonna get knocked back um, yeah turn the fuck around because if you turn around they can't touch you all right we only got one more part of the radio I'm so close man I'm, I'm so fucking close 
Oh god. Oh, nice! <laughs> wow, so like, they, they pushed me into a, a secret area where I got an extra life, that's awesome. Well, thanks, enemies. Thanks. Uh... Okay, so again, you know, I, I, uh, I exploit the whole, you know, turn your ass around trick. Uh, I will exploit that all day long. Um... Oh, it didn't serve me well there. It really didn't serve me well there. So I guess you just kind of have to know when to, uh, you have to know when to abuse the system, right? And I guess you also just have to know uh, exactly when the bridges are going to fall, like exactly where. Alright, let me just turn around so that, uh... Okay. Man, I love Linus Spacehead. It's, it's a delightful game. I think I'm gonna die here. I think this is the end of my Linus Spacehead adventure. Although, I certainly made a lot more progress than last time. Uh, you know, you gotta give me that, right? And turn around here. Okay, I'm I'm gonna fucking. Uh... Well, I found a little energy pellet thing. So that's that's nice. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's like there's a sort of an art to know like when to turn around and when not to. Knock me the other way. There we go. I'll take that. Like, I love it. It's like, you have to kind of strategically know when to exploit the weird fucking, you know, the weirdness of the game, right? You have to just strategically know when to do it and when not to do it. Okay, what? Uh, what? What? What am I supposed to do? I don't know! Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Like, I had no idea what I was supposed to do there. I, oh, cl cloud Climax? This is, the, this is the last level of the game. This is the last fucking level of the game. Okay, there's a, there's a gimmick here. Uh, there is a gimmick I don't like going on here. Um, yeah, okay, so you, you, you are constantly sinking into the clouds. So, uh, that's a problem. Like, okay, this, this is gonna take some getting used to. This is something I should've practiced. Uh... Okay, yeah, goddamn. Alright, Linus's, uh, his really fucking slippery-ass movements, um, they're becoming a problem now. Yeah, his, his real slippery movements are becoming a detriment at this point in time. Uh... Hmm. See, like, okay, here's the thing. I have to keep jumping or else I just fucking die, right? I have to keep jumping or else I will just, I will fall. Okay, the... So here's something I learned. Um... Yeah, here's something I learned about Linus Spacehead today. Uh, those seagulls from the second level. You can hit those and you'll be fine, right? Like, that doesn't, that doesn't hurt you. But the seagulls in this level, they will kill your ass dead. So, uh... You know, that's something to watch out for, so, uh, that's what I learned about Linus Spacehead today. Man, this is, uh, this doesn't, like, nothing about this feels good. Um, it's the weird, slippery controls. Hey, there's a seagull coming, I have to, I have to fucking move. Move my ass. No! Oh, goddamn. That was the last level of the game. That was the last fucking level of the game. 
I, I was that close. I was that fucking close to beating Linus Spacehead. I was that close. Oh, okay. We're doing it again. Uh, in a moment, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> oh, let me just, uh, you know, let me, let me ready myself here. Let me just prepare. Okay, cracking them knuckles. Let's do it. <laughs> let's 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 try to let's try to beat Linus Spacehead. I, I think I can do it this time. Like I actually feel like I can do it because. Okay, so here's the thing. Not every level in this game is hard. Okay, like some of the levels in the game are actually really short and easy. So if you can get past the hard levels, then it's it's just a matter of breezing through the easy ones, right? So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm just gonna, you know, I've gotten pretty good at the hard levels, so I'm gonna try to do this. And I mean, it's it's really not that long of a game either, so uh, I think I have a chance. Only thing is, is uh, again, the game is pretty unforgiving uh, in terms of like. You know, the, the broken-ass controls, and, uh, and just all the nonsense. Okay, so, yeah, see, level one is one of the easy levels. Like, the, like, all of the levels that involve, you know, climbing up bubbles or balloons, those are easy. Um, the hard levels are the ones like this, where they, they want you to, to be patient, and they want you to do very specific platforming. Uh, if you don't, you die. And again, it's it's all about the slippery controls. Um, there's no good way to explain it, but... Okay, but the bad way to explain it is, it's like Linus is on butter, right? Or it's like, it's like he's, uh, it's like this is an ice stage, right? You know, you know how in a fun video game where a character will slide around on an ice stage, right? You know, that, that's fun, right? Well, it's kind of like that. But the controls don't always do what you want them to do. Like sometimes, you know, you'll slide around, and then sometimes you'll you'll hit the jump button, but, but you know, you, you won't jump. Uh, your character will just kind of roll off the cliff. Like that's what we're dealing with here. Uh, yeah. Um, so the controls. Like if, if anything makes this game hard, it's just the controls. I can deal with that. Okay. Like, I can deal with the controls not being ideal. Um, I play lots of games with with less than ideal controls. Uh, the hitboxes, right? The, um, like, the, the enemies and the obstacles, their hitboxes are kind of strange at times. Um, and what I mean by that is, like, like in that stage with the trees and the ants, um, yeah, you know, sometimes, uh, the enemies, their hitbox is about twice as large as the enemy itself. Uh, and that's always, you know, that's always fun. <laughs> oh, hey there. Uh, didn't know anyone was was here. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, to beat a, a long-time nemesis of mine. Uh, and not this game in particular, but, like, the Quattro Adventure cartridge. Uh, it's a long-running nemesis of mine that I've, I've tried many times. And you see how I just kind of slipped, you know, I just slipped right off that platform? Yeah. Uh, Linus also kind of phases through platforms, like, like this. See, that, that, that's also a thing. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm getting close. Like, I'm getting very close to actually being able to beat this game. Like, I died on the last stage of the game, uh, last time, so... So I'm doing it. You know, this thing's going down. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, alright. Let's, let's do this again. Let's do it for real. For real this time. <laughs> See, like, okay, look, you might think I'm just being retarded, right? Like, that I'm just, you know... I, like, I don't know how my hands work. I don't know how controllers work, right? So, like, that's why Linus is just slipping and sliding right off these platforms. Like, it looks like I'm just running off a cliff, but no, no, that's just, it's momentum. It's momentum and, and things don't respond. So, uh, yeah. Like, I swear I'm not that bad at the video games. <laughs> Alright, 
There we go. Radio part. You know, I've, uh, okay, here's the thing, like, the goal of this game is to, to get to the end and also get all the radio parts, right? Like, you have to get the radio parts in order to beat the game. I've, okay, there's a morbid curiosity inside of me that wonders, okay, look, if I beat the level, but I don't get the, the, the radio part, like, is it gonna make me do the level over again? Is it gonna, am I gonna get to the end of the game and, and it's like, oh, sorry, you didn't get all the radio parts, um, go back and try again, like, that's, that's what I wonder, uh, I don't have it in me to test that out, like, I think if I did that and I actually managed to beat the game, but like, you know, it said you, you needed to get all the radio parts, I think I might just cry, like, I might have a, a good uh, breakdown on stream if that were the case. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting near the end of this level, just a bit longer. Just a bit longer. Okay. And there's something fun I want to show off. If, if, uh, if the seagulls will come this way, I don't think I'm at a risk of dying here, but like, there's something I want to show off. I just have to wait till a seagull comes, like, like right at ground level. So like, right about here, right? Okay, here's what I want to... I think this will show it off. Oh, no. See, like, what can happen is... Uh, see, when you get up to this top level, um, Linus will just start auto-running. Like, you lose control and he auto-runs to the finish line, right? I've been killed by, by enemies while I'm auto-running to the finish line. It's that kind of game. But, uh, here, let me pause for a second, crack the knuckles, you know, psych myself up, because this level has all the cheap deaths. Like, every cheap death you could ever want is in this level. So I gotta ready myself for it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've never played the, uh, the actual Linus Spacehead game. Uh, you know, I only know Quattro Adventure, right? That's all I know. Um, because that's the kind of childhood I had, you know, like... No Mario, no, no Sonic, you get Quattro Adventure. But, uh... Yeah, like, I, I don't know, this game... All the games, it's, it's not just this game. It's all the games on this cartridge, they all... They all have problems. Just the horrible issues that keep them from being, like, uh... What you would call enjoyable. Like that. Where enemies just kind of spawn at random in no particular pattern. But they always seem to spawn in just the right way to, uh, you know, knock you off of a platform or whatever. Uh, yeah. And, and see, like, they just keep coming. But, but if you notice, like, he spawned at a different height, right? So, like, that's kind of the thing. Like, the enemies, they spawn randomly. Like, like there's a random factor to this game. A game that requires you to make absurdly precise uh, platforming jumps. There's an element of random to it. Like, with this, this thing's fucking tail, like... Like, there's a, there's a random element to this fucker's tail, but, like, like, why would you do that to me? Uh, why would you fucking do that to me? You know, like, why, why would you put in a random element to, you know, enemy... Like, why is there a random element to enemy placement when the game expects you to make, you know, very specific, very timed, uh, you know, platforms? Like, there's a specific way that you have to beat the game. Why would it do this to me? Uh Yeah, uh, yeah, there, there's four other games on this thing. I have never beaten any of them. Uh, and you know, this cartridge, like, it's, it's one of those real nice, uh, it's like a gold cartridge, like, um, like the Zelda cart. But it has, like, a switch on the back, you know, to override Nintendo's copy protection or whatever they put on their system, you know, to keep unlicensed games from getting on there. Oh god, like, okay, look, I did this last time, and I did it well, okay? Like, I actually passed this with absolutely no issue last time, but... But again, it's the random element, right? Like, it's it's the fact that that the enemies just spawn randomly, and the the crocodile's tail, it just flips up at random. And, and look, there's no pattern to it. Like, you know, sometimes it swings twice, sometimes it swings only once, sometimes it goes all three times, you know, there's... Like, there just doesn't really seem to be a, a specific pattern to it, if you will. 
and how far it knocks you back, that's also something that doesn't really seem to be set in stone either. Okay, I think... Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere now. Free life! Okay, we have a chance now. Yeah, see, like, there's a, there's a huge chance element to this whole thing. Oh, no! Okay, that, that worked out for me. Okay. So, here's the thing. I'm gonna try to exploit this whole, like... This backward momentum. Yeah, like, if, see, here's the thing, is that if, if uh, you know, like, if all this wasn't random, it wouldn't be an issue, right? Okay, now I'm gonna try to exploit momentum, because there's a little trick to this, right? I don't know if I want to exploit it or not, like, if I just want to... Yeah, I think I'll just try to go. I don't know if jumping on it will trigger it to, you know, to, to do thing, but I, I don't know. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That's great. It just robbed me. It just robbed me of all my fucking progress. It just straight up robbed me of my progress. Alright, see, that time, the tail, the tail totally fucking hit me. Like, it totally hit me. But for whatever reason, I just kind of phased through it, right? Okay, we did it. Yeah, this is the hard level. If you can get past this... Well, no, actually, I lied. The next level is really fucking hard, too. And the level after that's pretty fucking hard, too. So, okay, I guess I lied. Every stage of this game is hard. But some of them are not quite as hard as, as the others. So, yeah, the problem here is these, these little ants that you see crawling around. Uh, their hitbox is about twice as large as they are. So, like... It's really easy to... Like, if you jump too early or you jump too late, it's really easy to get killed by them. And you basically, you're, you're getting killed by thin air, because uh, their hitbox is just larger than they are. Like, way larger than they are. Uh, the monkeys don't kill you, but they'll, they'll knock you back. Uh, and, you know, being knocked back in this game, uh, sometimes that's as good as death. Like, sometimes... You know, like, you're just kind of getting juggled around, and you're just waiting for the sweet release of death, you know? Okay, let's try to do this. We're getting very close to the end. Okay, there's the radio part. Okay, we're making progress. Now, how long will that last? How long will... how long will the progress last? <laughs> now, I know that there's, you know, a life up there, but I, I gotta be blunt. Um, if I go for that, I'm probably gonna die. Like, see, here's the thing, they... This game, like, it'll very frequently place, like, the little energy power-ups, like, it'll place them where you're gonna die, right? It's like, uh, well, you know, it's like that infamous pizza in uh, the Ninja Turtles game, which was also a game I played as a kid. I had all the bad games. But yeah, it's kind of like that, uh... Okay, am I gonna... Okay. Yeah, so, uh, alright, I didn't know if the birds killed or not. I mean, it's a safe bet that everything kills you in this game, right? So, okay, this is actually one of the easier levels. Uh, I know I say that and I just died, right? But no, it's, it's actually one of the easier levels. Uh, and it's easier just because while there is some, some bullshit to deal with here, uh, there's not nearly as much bullshit as, uh, as many of the other ones. And unlike the first stage, where you're basically doing this same exact thing, but you're timed, like in the first stage, you know, you're, you're drowning, like the game starts you off fucking drowning to death. Um, yeah, unlike that, uh, there's no timer on this stage, so... So I guess it's easier in that way, right? Now, trick to it is... Is that there... yeah, these clouds... The birds might be there. Like, there might be a bird in the clouds. Uh, and yeah, you can... you can die due to cloud birds. Uh, not very fun times there. See, like, I, I can't see what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I'm fucking doing. Oh. 
There we go. Alright. Level 6. Now, this one is the one that, uh... Like, goddamn, this is the one that'll kill me, right? Like, if anything's gonna kill me, it's this stage right here. Uh, I mean, there is, you know, that, that whole, like, this. See, there's the exploit, where if you, if you turn around really quickly, uh... Oh, look. There's no real way to know, like, you, um, like, okay, see, this part of the game, like, you really do just have to memorize when the bridge is gonna break, right? Because it doesn't always break at the same time. Not always. But if you can exploit that whole, uh... Alright, I see something up there. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Like, there's just... Man, it's... it's Like, if you want a real horror game, Linus Spacehead, uh, it's not quite the horror that you might think, but it's, uh... It's just, man, it's the idea of having to do this whole thing over again. Nice! Like, see, sometimes, like, you know, every now and then, right? Every now and then, um... The game's weirdness, it kind of plays to your advantage, right? Every now and then, uh, just, you know, just every now and then. Like that! Like, look at that, it's just, it's pushing me around, but it's, it's pushing me around in a good way, right? Okay, now there's a secret right here. Uh, I need these. I need these so bad. Yeah, see, like, you, you kind of get good at just sort of exploiting, you know, the, the terrible mechanics. Alright, look, I only need one more fucking piece of this radio. Okay, turn around. See, you gotta know when to turn around. Uh, it's weird, like, it's it's such a fucking exploitative mechanic, right? Okay, try not to... try not to get knocked around. Okay, see, I don't know where... I, I don't know where the bridge... Like, I don't know where the brakes in the bridge are here. Uh, I just don't know. So I'm just gonna try... But here's the end! Ha <laughs> All right. Yeah, that level, I hate it, because that level is the most random, buggy thing ever. Uh, I guess no pun intended, but... Yeah, okay, here's the one, like... This level is a little easier than the last one, I guess, but... Okay, see, the problem is, you have to keep moving, right? See, like, if you don't jump, if you don't jump, Linus will fall through the clouds, so you have to jump, but remember... Linus is slippery, right? Like, Linus is really fucking slippery. Uh, so like when, you know, when Linus slips, uh, you know, his slips can mean you just, you just fell to your death, right? Like, you, you might slip all the way off the side of the fucking, uh, the clouds, so, uh, yeah. So, um, this level is fun for a different reason, right? Okay, come on, just... Get up here! Just get the fuck up here! All right. Oh, see, okay, the tornado does not kill you; it just knocks your ass flat back. So, uh... but hey, look again. Sometimes that works to your advantage. Sometimes. Like, not very often does that work to your advantage, but every now and then. Oh, look at that! The slipperiness. Like, see, I have to keep jumping, though. I have to fucking keep jumping or I die. So, I mean, like, what, what, what am I supposed to do here? Like, I mean, you actually have to jump to even make these platforms sometimes. And the, the seagulls, like, they'll just straight up murder you. Um, yeah, the, the seagulls are death. Um... Okay, come on. Oh. See, like, I'm, I'm trying here not to do the slip and slide to my death. Like, I mean, I have seagulls that are just constantly trying to fuck me up. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. No! And look at that!
Like, there was nothing I could do about that. The seagull just randomly spawned right in front of me. There was absolutely nothing I could do about it. Like, there's no skill. Like, there, there's nothing, you know, nothing uh, anywhere near resembling skill is involved in that, right? Like, what's involved in that is basically, uh, you know, are you gonna get lucky with the random number generator? Uh, are you gonna fucking, you know, are you gonna die that time, or...? Yeah, or like, is the game gonna be nice and, and let you actually, you know, make progress? Oh, shit, what is this hell? Okay. Oh. Okay, the radio is complete. The radio is motherfucking complete. Oh god, what am I gonna do about those seagulls? I don't know. No! Like, there's just, there's, you know, moments like that, like, all you can really do is just kind of, you know, just flail at the screen and go, no! Because you know what's coming. You know that you're gonna get knocked back, and you're gonna lose all the, the sweet, sweet progress that you've made, right? Like, you know it's coming, you know it's gonna happen, you know there's nothing you can do about it, um... So just have fun, you know, just, just have fun. Oh. Okay. Let's do it again. Okay, see... <laughs> oh no. There's the seagulls. I am at least getting good at kind of exploiting the whole, you know, being knocked on my ass thing, right? Sometimes. Sometimes that happens. That was really fucking lucky that the seagull didn't just take my ass out there. Okay. Hmm. So I think I actually have to use the uh, the tornado there, right? Like I think it's it actually wants me to get hit by the uh, tornado. Yeah. No, no, that wasn't the answer. Um, could have fooled me. Like I I thought that that had to be the answer, right? Okay, so I cannot make that jump. Like, there, there's no way in hell that I can actually physically make that jump. Uh, the only thing I know of is, like, can I, can I get knocked back the other way? I mean... I don't know. Maybe I, 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 uh, I do have to get hit by this, but, like, maybe there's something I have to do? I mean, I don't know. Okay, so, like, let's, let's pause here for a second, and let's think about this logically. Okay, I see that there's a cloud over to the right. There's nothing else over there, though. So, like, that that's clearly not the way I need to go. I need to go left, right? <laughs> I need to go left. <clears throat> now, I've tried to make that jump a few times. I, I don't see how I can do it. Now, I could use the tornado. If I angle myself just right, I could use the tornado to kind of force myself to go left faster, but it doesn't... I, I tried that, too, and it doesn't work. So... You know, uh, that's that's really my only two options here. I don't know. I'm gonna try to go for it again. Oh, uh, after I, I don't die to the seagull, though. Because that, that seagull is right fucking there. Okay, I guess I could jump. I, I guess I could make the jump. Um, huh. Okay, so I have to be very careful here. Uh... Oh god, that's great. That's great. That That is excellent. Okay, so here's the thing. It, it seems like when you get to the edge of the cloud, right? Oh, that's great. That's great! 
Yeah, okay, here's the thing. When you get to the edge of the cloud, uh, it seems like you get, like, sort of an extra bounce to your step, right? Like, it, it seems like when you get to the edge, it kind of bounces you. Um, so that's what I have to use in order to get to the other side of that. Oh my god, like, did you see that? Did you fucking see that? Three seagulls spawned in a straight line across the left side of the screen. Like, there was absolutely no way I could dodge that. I, I couldn't go back because, I mean, like, the tornado was right there, right? So yeah, like, that's just what you have to deal with in Linus Spacehead. Um, you just have to deal with that kind of thing happening constantly. It's that random ener uh, that random enemy placement. Uh, it'll get you every time. I have one life left. Uh, there's no way in hell I'm gonna beat this. Like, but see, here's the thing. I I'm not like I'm not losing due to my own incompetence or a lack of practice. I'm losing because the game is spawning enemies in ways that I literally cannot fucking dodge. <laughs> and that's that. Game fucking over. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm not skilled enough. Maybe I'm, you know, I gotta get good, but I... Like, okay, like, every death except for that last one was entirely because the game just... It spawned things in front of me in a way that I couldn't dodge and I couldn't turn back right? And I couldn't turn back because you just can't. Like, the, the game is too slippery. Like, there's no way I could have known it was going to happen. It's just, it's random. It's random dumb luck. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go back to the title screen here, and uh, I'm going to play one of the other games on the cartridge. Um, just to kind of calm down a little bit, because I... I, I got so fucking close to the end of Linus. I just want to, I just want to beat it. But I'm just gonna, you know, take a sip of my my juice here. Ah, mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna refresh myself and uh, gonna play one of the other games. Okay, Super Robin Hood. Uh, yeah, Super Robin Hood is... It has almost the exact opposite problem as Linus Spacehead. Like, the, the problem with Linus Spacehead is that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's broken, it's badly programmed. Um, I mean, like, most of your deaths are gonna be because of random dumb luck, right? Well, this game is badly programmed, but it's not broken. Uh, there's nothing broken about this game. Like, there's, there's very little random element to this game. I mean, there is there is some random element, but not much. Um, now again, uh, just like Linus Spacehead, it expects you to make, you know, very pixel-precise jumping, right? It expects this of you. But, unlike Linus Spacehead, uh, Robin Hood is a lot easier to control. Now, that said, you know, look at this slip. You know, like, he, he still has a little slip to his step, right? Like, when he does this. See? Look at that Look at that slide, right? You know, he's still got a, lo a little slip to his step, but he's a lot easier to control than, uh, than Linus. And his bow. See, like, when I hit the button, he raises his, his arrow? Yeah. There's a little delay to that. Now you can hold back your, your bow, like that, and that's a little easier to control. But, uh... I guess, you know, the running theme of, uh, you know, Quattro Adventure is that nothing is quite what it seems. Uh, you know, nothing quite controls like you want it to. Uh, nothing quite... nothing quite feels right. But, like, you can get used to it. You can get used to how bad the game feels, and... I don't know, you can kind of get around it. Kind of. Now, this game is a little bit more lenient. Uh, this is a little bit more lenient than Linus Spacehead, because Robin Hood has a life bar. Like, he has an actual life bar, and he can take multiple hits, and, uh, you know, that's great, right? So, yeah, like, uh, Robin Hood has multiple lives, he has 
multiple health bar. Uh, oh, hey, look, there's a drill that just came out of the floor for no reason. Um, yeah, I mean, game's still not good, but hey, it's not nearly as bad as Linus. It's not broken like Linus was. But here's the thing, here's the thing, is that while Linus is pretty easy, if you... Like, if you don't factor in the brokenness, Linus is an easy game, right? Like, if it wasn't so broken and it wasn't so random, it would be a very easy game. Robin Hood is the exact opposite. Robin Hood is a fairly hard game. Um, it's fairly fucking hard, and, uh... Yeah, it's really easy to die in this game. I mean, really easy to die. But... But, you will very rarely die for for unfair or badly programmed reasons. Most of the time when you die in, in Super Robin Hood, uh, it's your own fault. Um, and you know, hey, I'll admit that, right? I'll admit that it is my own fault that I, you know, I died in my own stupidity or lack of skill. I'll totally admit that. You know, there's lots of that uh, slipping and sliding and, you know, Pixel perfect uh, jumps and dodging. I mean, that's that's fun times to me. Um, I can handle that. Now, of course, like the only reason I haven't like died three times already is because I've. Uh, okay, see, so here's the thing. This game, uh, it has much less of a random element than Linus. So you can memorize the levels and like you can memorize when to dodge and, and all that. So. Like, the reason I haven't died already is just because I've, I've kind of memorized a lot of the game. Now, you know, that luck, that, uh, you know, that muscle memory, that'll run out. That'll run out, uh, pretty quickly, but... You know, I, I'm good for a while, okay? And look at that, that drill coming out of the ceiling. Yeah, see, you, you kind of have to have a feel for, like, how how those work. Uh, because how they work is basically... Like, okay, here's the deal. Um, if you're not looking at the, the weird screw thing, if you're not looking at it, like, if it's uh, if it's off-screen, it'll take slightly longer to, to come out of the floor than if you, you know, if you sit and watch it, right? Uh, it, it's kind of like, um, it, it's kind of like it hasn't been activated yet, right? But once it's activated, oh, you know, shit is on. Shit's real. Oh, look at that. Mm, I, uh, I, I was just a... You know, I was a pixel off. Uh, yeah, I was just one pixel off. And I got hit. But that's okay. Uh, again, this game... You know, much, much easier, much simpler. Also, you might be wondering, okay, how am I going to get up there? Do I have to get the key? No, that's not the answer. The answer is, you have to jump. You have to stand in the corner and jump. That's how you get up there. I mean, that's not explained. That's like, There's no way you could know to do that, right? I mean, there's no way you could know to do that until you actually just kind of kind of discover it by, uh, by happenstance, right? That's how a lot of the things in this game are, is there's really no good way to know about it, except by accident. Okay, got the key. So, now, you know, instinct is to just kind of... to just jump, but, you know, you might accidentally hit the, the flames when you do that. Okay, he fires two shots and he's done. So again, pixel perfect. Get right in that fucking corner. Just crouch there. Just just crouch in the corner in the fetal position. That's how you win. Okay, so I gotta make a little maneuver here. Okay. There, so you have to kind of nudge off so you don't so you don't just straight up fall into the lava pit. And uh, the game, like, it, it basically it makes you automatically kind of cling to the to the chains, but only sometimes. It's, uh... I, I, sure, I sure hope that doesn't fuck me later. I sure hope! Okay, so... Oh, yeah, see, it just... 
it's kind of weird. It's it's hard to explain. It's odd and hard to explain. But like sometimes the game will auto like it'll automatically make you climb a rope. Other times not so much. Uh, it's just I don't know. There's there's no real rhyme or reason to it. You know, sometimes it automatically makes you cling to a rope. Yeah, sometimes not. I mean, whatever, you know, whatever game feels like. Okay, now I gotta use this. Get that heart. Now... Yeah, here's the thing. If I can, uh, if I can get one more heart, like every five hearts, you, uh... Like, basically every five hearts, you get a free life, so... That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping I can, you know, not get hit long enough to get one more heart. Just one more. Now, you have to use some of that uh, slippery momentum to get up there. Okay, so there's the heart, right? That's what I want to get so I can get an extra life. But, but, I want to get that, yeah, you have to get the bat first. Oh, look at that. I, uh, foolish me thinking I could, uh, I could do that without getting hit, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's okay. See, it, it, like, here's the thing. Unlike Line of Spacehead, I really don't worry too much about taking hits in this game. Because this game is actually really lenient when it comes to health items. Um, like, it's constantly giving out extra life. And I think it's because the game knows that, look, you're just gonna get hit. You know, you're, you're gonna get hit sometimes, and there's nothing you can do about it. You know, the, the game knows this. Uh, it knows it, and it just rolls with it. So, yeah, I don't really worry about getting hit at all. Look at that, look at that tricky maneuver there. Okay. Yeah, see, the thing is, there are certain points of this game where you will get hit. Like, I mean, you're, you're gonna get hit sometimes even more than once, and there's nothing you can really do about it. I mean, oh yeah, sure, you can do something about it, but you don't have to, because the thing is, the game always gives you an extra heart, you know, specifically because it knows that you're gonna, you know, it, it knows you're gonna get hit, right? So, like, it gives you an extra heart. Um, like, see, there's an extra heart right over there. Uh, you know, I just have to make my way to that, but... Oh, there's a drill right here, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> okay. And see, here's a here's a neat thing. If you die, it refills your hearts. Like death refills your hearts. So um, it's actually kind of uh, it's kind of to your advantage to die sometimes. Like I mean, it's it's actually to your advantage to like you know get enough extra lives so that you know you you can afford the luxury of dying. And then hey, you get a free three uh, three heart refill. So you know it's not that bad. All right, so yeah, here I gotta get this. Uh, gotta get this key. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to go back this way before, um, like, or I'm gonna have to go back this way later. But here's the thing: uh, I can't go that way just yet. Um, so here's a really fun thing about Super Robin Hood, right? It's non-linear. Yeah, there are many paths you can take at any given time in Super Robin Hood. And, uh, sometimes the paths that you might take, well, you know, sometimes the path that you will take, it'll lead to a dead end. And, uh, you know, guess what? If you hit a dead end, well, you gotta go back and, you know, you gotta try all over again. That's kind of the thing, is that if you hit a dead end, I mean, like, none of the traps disable, right? Like, none of the... You know, none, none of the traps, uh, you know, suddenly become inoperable. Like, no. Uh, like, if you fucking... If you hit a dead end, I mean, you have to go back and you, you gotta try over. You know, you gotta... You, know, you gotta do all that again. Okay, so I've hit sort of a little, uh... 
little problem here. Haha! <laughs> I got back on the platform. Excellent. Alright. Usually I take a hit there. It's a... It's kind of a hard area to dodge. Um... Yeah, I usually get hit there, but... No, managed not to get hit this time. That's nice. Doesn't really matter because, I mean, I'm gonna take damage. Probably gonna take damage going through the, uh, the little upper area here. Alright, get a good run and jump. Okay, now we have to make our way over here. Gotta do all this nonsense. Um, I really wish you could shoot those little dudes. I really do. I really wish you could shoot them. But uh, arrows do not pierce... Uh, they do not pierce them. Okay, now I need to watch here. Uh, I have a very limited window with which I can, with which I can kind of get across here, right? Yeah, I fucked it up, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, this, man, this, this labyrinth, uh, it just, it feels like it goes on forever, I mean, like, I've gotten pretty far in this game, okay? But it just, it, it feels like it never ends, it really does, it, it feels like, uh, it feels like the castle's dungeon just never stops, like, uh, like, I could be down here all day, and then some... Okay, a little bit of uh, trick jumping again. Just gotta be careful with that. <laughs> I love those cannonballs. I wish you could kill them. Like, there's very little you can actually kill in this game. I mean, I think there's really only, like, the bats and the, uh... Like, I don't know, the, the fucking bats and the, the weird, the guys with the crossbows, right? That's really all you can actually kill. Um, uh, see, I got caught on the whole, it's a trap, right? Like, it's a fucking trap. Um, like, those chains. Um, yeah, like, those damn chains. Um, like, every now and then, you'll just get caught on them, you know, and you can't do much about that. Okay, so, yeah, I have to watch out for this guy down here. And there's a drill, too. Yeah. See, the thing is, like, I, I keep running into these, these situations, right, where, look, I have to make a jump. Okay, if I don't make the jump, if I don't fucking make the jump, like, I'm, I'm dead. Like, if I don't, you know, if I don't make the jump, I'm gonna get hit by something. So I have to make the, the stupid fucking jump, you know, just because it's, it's kind of like, it's death either way, right? Like, you, you know, you're, you're dead if you do it, you're dead if you don't. Okay, so... Again, I have to basically, uh... Please don't come all the way over here. Okay, good. 
Yeah, so I have to wait for him to go through there. And once he clears it, yeah, then I need to do my slide. Look at that shit. Almost hit him on the way. That's what you gotta do. And then you have to stand on the barrel, and that gives you just enough clearance. Like, you know, you can't really jump him, not in this corridor. Use the barrel. Okay, there's a drill right here. I can I can kind of see it. Okay, I can't get through there. Um And see that's what I mean by like games non-linear and it'll fuck you up. Oh see look it keeps wanting me to go Oh like if I'd only you know if I'd only kept going I'd only kept going, right? But the game just, it, it stuck me on the chain. It's a trap. It's a goddamn trap. Like, it, it's a bad programming trap. Okay, okay, so let's calm down here. Uh, see, here's the thing. It's really easy to sort of get into this mode, right? Where you just kind of feel like, fuck it. You know, you, you just feel like the game is, it's, it's unfair, it's difficult, it, it's kicking your ass you're kind of done, right? And I think, like, in any sort of hard game, you'll fall into that state of mind, right? I feel like Quattro Adventure more so, but, um... But yeah, you know, you, you'll feel like the game is cheating you. And it doesn't feel good. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel good to get cheated. But, you know, while it doesn't feel good to get cheated or, you know, to die unfairly, like, I mean, look, the thing is, you can get around it, okay? You know, there's there's nothing that you as a player cannot defeat. Uh, that's my, kind of my mantra, as it were. So, I just, I try not to get into that fuck it mode, because when, once you get there, once you decide, you know, fuck it, don't care, just, you know, brute force it, uh, once you get into that mode, you're done. Like, I mean, you have no chance. Like, you've you've lost the battle before it even started. Um, and that's just kind of, I don't know, that, there's my video game philosophy. I tend to do that a lot. I tend to philosophize about my uh, shitty games that I play a lot. Because, uh, you know, why not? What else are you going to do while you're sitting here talking to yourself for the internet? Um... Okay, there we go. I think we're done with that. Don't need to go back there for any fucking reason. Okay, I need to... yeah, I need to go up here first. Yeah, look at that, that, uh... That slippery, uh, you know, trick platforming they, they expect me to do. Okay, see, yeah, when you, here's the thing, like, when you take a hit, you kind of just have to, you have to roll with it, because you do get, like, a moment of uh, invulnerability when you get hit, so it's at that point where you just basically go, okay, look, you know, I've, I've taken the damage, can't do anything about that, right? Can't do anything about the damage I took, but what I can do is I can make it count, okay? Like, I can make the damage count. Like, I can make it not be in vain, right? <laughs> okay, I don't really remember the exact routing I have to take here. And again, you know, I took a hit, but I made it count. I, uh, I used the hit to, to kind of get through the uh, little thing I had to get through. And I just slip and slided right into that guy. That was my, that was my own, my own dumb fucking fault, I'll admit it. But, you know, I, I keep saying, like, look, if you can get, if you can get four hearts, right? Oh, hey, look, I did kill him, though. I did kill that guy, so, you know, that's something.
But yeah, you know, if you can get four hearts, like, see, here's the, like, this is what I meant when I said, like, death isn't so bad in this game. I mean, like, uh, when you die, I mean, the game, it basically starts you off with, uh, like, when you die, you start off with three hearts, right? And I just fucking, I fell through the ladder again. It's, it's the bad programming, but, but okay, like, here's the deal, right? You know, you die, the game gives you three hearts, okay? All you need is five hearts, and then you get a free life. So, I mean, the thing is, is if you can, if you can live long enough to get two hearts, um, like, you, you know, you've done it, right? If you can just live long enough to get two hearts. Now, you know, I guess that is the caveat, right? That's, that's the conundrum, is good luck surviving long enough to get two hearts. But, but if you can do it, and it's entirely doable, then I mean, hey, dying ain't so bad. <laughs> I really wish it would stop making me climb up the ladders, and that's not entirely a fault of Quattro Adventure. Some of that is my controller. Like, the controller that I'm using is, uh, it's a little finicky uh, about that sort of thing. So, I mean, that's not all on Quattro Adventure, although I still, like, I remember that happening all the time when I used, you know, on the, on the NES, but it wasn't quite so bad, I guess, is, is the best way to put it. But, you know, it's still an issue. It's still an issue. Oh, I looked away from the screen for two seconds. You know, because I, I forgot about that whole thing right there. Okay, so, yeah, here you have to do a little, uh, gotta do a little trick there. Yep. four hearts. If we can make one more heart, you know, we can get a free life. Uh, I don't know how... Like, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. Okay, I have to kill that bat. If I don't kill the bat, it's gonna kill me. need to get this guy right here. You know, uh... Okay, good. I, I got the extra life. I, I got the extra life, uh, and so now I start with three hearts again. <laughs> like, uh, I, like, I know that it, it, it might feel like I kind of, you know, defeated the purpose of it, right? But no, it was totally worth it. See, now... I'm still down to one extra life, you know, I'm still down to only having one life, right? But now I have three hearts. Like, I have one life and three hearts, whereas I would have only, like, one life and, and like, two hearts. Uh, you know, if I hadn't... Yeah, so, I guess that's something, right? Okay, you really have to... Yeah, look at that. They, they really expect you to know your fucking jumps here. that. Okay, I got four hearts. Um, I think there's a heart down there. Probably not gonna get it. Uh, probably not gonna get it. But who knows? Who knows? Okay, I've already been down there. I, I know what's down there. I don't need that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, shot right into me.
Okay, I, I took the hit. So, see, that's the thing. It's like, it's, it's one of those times where it's like, look, you realize you took the hit, so... Uh, I mean, again, it's being really fucking lenient with the, uh, the health, so... Okay, now I know another barrel is gonna come out of there. Just wait for it. Alright, there we go. So, I should be able to go... No, I can't go that way yet. Oh, I remember. I can go up here, though. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I've only been a little bit further than this in, uh, in Super Robin Hood. Um, I have been further, but, like, not by much. Okay. Alright, so... Yeah, this is, um... Hmm. God damn, this is a tight fit. This is gonna be a real, real tight fit. Okay, okay. Pulled it off. Pulled it off. Alright, so now I should be able to go down this way. Um... Now, I have to watch out, because there might be, like, something that wants to shoot me to death over here. Yeah, like this guy. So he fires, what, three, three bolts? Okay, and he's, he's low, so, okay. I should have just kept going. Uh, should have just fucking kept going. Should have kept going, because I'm never going to need to come back this way ever again, so I should have just, you know, I should have just kept going. Yeah, man, I'm not gonna... Like, no chance of beating this. Uh, none. None at all. Man, I, uh, almost on my last life. Wow! <laughs> uh. Okay, so, yeah, um, I didn't, I didn't even get as far as I did last time in Super Robin Hood. But here's what I'm gonna say. Um, I'm ready for Linus Spacehead again. I'm ready for Line of Spacehead again. Ah, mm. Alright, alright. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, see the thing is, like, Super Robin Hood, I don't know. I, uh, I actually like playing it. Like, okay, look, I, I, you know, I get frustrated and I die a lot, but no, I like the game. Uh, I legit enjoy it. You know, even with all of its problems, I feel like it's a fun game. Uh, now, you know, note that I didn't say good, I just said fun. Okay. Now, Line of Spacehead, on the other hand, no, it's, it's not good and it's not fun, but, uh, it's the one that I think I have the best chance of beating. Uh, like, it's the one game on this whole cart that, I don't know, like, it's, it's just easy. I mean, it's... You know, it's got horrible, horrible fucking problems. You know, that, that make it difficult to beat. But it is not a difficult game. It's, uh... Like, nothing about the gameplay mechanics of, uh, Linus Spacehead are difficult. It's, uh... I mean, it's, it's for the most part a 100% straightforward, linear game. 
Also, I love this. I'm above water right now, but the oxygen meter doesn't stop. Uh, it, it keeps going. <clears throat> yeah, so, I don't know, just like I said, it's, it's not... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's easier, uh, it's got more problems, but it's easier, and I feel like, ultimately, if I'm gonna beat anything on this whole cartridge today, it's gonna be Linus Spacehead, because I've gotten so fucking close. Ugh, oh, I've gotten so damn close to beating this fucking thing. But it's that last stage. I mean, no, there's problems with every stage along the way to the last stage, but the last stage specifically... You know, I just kind of, I hit a wall, right? Where, like, I didn't really see how I could progress any further. Oh, there's the death crab. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the fun thing about this crab here is you can actually jump, like, you can actually manage to jump over it, right? But while you can manage to jump the crab, uh, it is no easy feat to jump the crab. Like, I mean, you're 99% you're guaranteed to die uh, when it comes to the fucking crab monster. You're 99% gonna die. Like, I've watched other people play this game, and, uh, yeah, no, like... The only way you're gonna jump the crab is if you get incredibly lucky, and the game sort of glitches you through the crab. That's that's really the only way you're gonna, you know, you're gonna pull that little maneuver off. So otherwise, I just play it really safe. Like, I... Like, I hate to say it, but like, when I play Line of Spacehead, I really just... I play the game safe. Like, I play it incredibly safe. Uh, Yeah, like, I just, I play the game safe, I, uh, I play it straightforward, I don't, I don't try to be a hero, um, I guess that's kind of the thing, right? Like, I don't, I don't try to be a hero when I play Line of Spacehead, I just try to, I try to get from left to right, you know, I try to get to the end of each stage, uh, I, I don't really concern myself with anything else. You know, I, I see some... Like, see, here's the thing, like, if I, if I see, like, one of these little energy things, right, and I, I, it's right there, right, like, it's, it's right fucking there, uh, then I'll go for it, right, I'll totally go for it, you know, when it's right there, but, but if it's not, like, uh, if it's not in my path, like, if it is not directly in my path, I will not fucking go for it, I don't care, like, I don't care if I need the life, uh, I won't do it, like, I just won't fucking do it. Because it, it's usually going to end up in, in killing you. Like, like, most of the time, when you see an optional little energy bar, uh, and it's just kind of, you know, it's, it's just a little bit out of the way, right? No, most of the times when that happens, it's a death trap. It's just a straight-up death trap, and you're falling right into it. <clears throat> Okay, two radio parts, yep, we got a long-ass way to go. But fortunately, this game is not, uh, it's actually not all that long, and, like, once you kind of know what you're doing, like, I mean, when you know enough about, like, when you've memorized enough of the levels and how the bullshit works, um... Oh, wow, that was real lucky. Like, I, you see how I just kind of glitched through the seagull? Like, I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. <laughs> Like, I know it's a glitch, I know that wasn't supposed to happen, but I'll, I'll fucking take it. Almost out of this fucking level. Just, uh, this is the last, um, it's the last set of rocks that I have to get over. And yeah, I know there's an energy bar, like, right down there, but... But it's just not a good idea to go for it. Like, if I... See, here's the thing, if I make that drop, right? If I make that drop, there's a good chance that I won't... that I won't get back up safely, right? And, uh, also, I guess... Like, I'm not sure if my chat's froze, or if, uh... I don't know, but, like, I... I see that there's people here, but no one talking, so... I don't know, either my chat's froze, or... Or everyone fell... fell asleep. Uh, wouldn't blame you. Wouldn't blame you. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's, let's get the secret. Let's carefully get the secret. So, okay, problem with this level. Problem with this level is that uh, it's the random factor. Like, you know, the enemies in this game, they're kind of placed randomly. Um, like, sometimes an enemy will spawn in a certain place, sometimes it won't. Sometimes three enemies will spawn in that enemy's place, and you're just not going to have a fun time at all. Uh, but, you know, that's just what happens, right? Okay, I... See, I... Man, I probably am going to regret doing that, right? Because I, I had it. Like, I, I, I had it made, right? Okay, good. We, we got past that. Um, oh, wow. Like, I should have died right there. I, I totally should have died. Um, I mean, like, I should have died initially. Like, I shouldn't have even had a chance. But but then I had a chance, and I, I didn't realize I had a chance, so I just kind of died. <laughs> uh, yeah. The deaths begin. Like, I've, I've done good, right? I've been, I've, I've been doing pretty good, you know? Like, I, I made it this far without... Uh, Yep, but now, now it begins. Yeah, now it fucking begins. Oh, that was damn close. Okay. I have to be very careful about how I how I approach this. Yeah, gotta be very careful here. Gotta get the radio part and then not die, and we've got this level made. Okay, alright, alright. Level 4 complete. Uh, alright, this level's not. it's not too hard. Like, I, I spent a lot of time practicing the ants in this level. Uh, because the ants have a very strange hitbox. Um,. Yeah, I can get past the ants reliably now, most of the time. I mean, I still, you know, like when I get impatient, accidents happen. <clears throat> but no, for the most part, I can get past them without hitting their weird oversized hitboxes. Most of the time. And the monkeys that fling... I'm gonna be generous and say that they're rocks. Um, you know, because there's other brownish things they could be throwing, but uh, I'm gonna assume... Lovely. So, yeah, the, the monkeys just knocked me down, like, nearly to the beginning of the stage. That's all good, that is all right. Um, I can handle that. I just phased through another platform. Fun times. Oh no. Yeah, the ant turned around. <laughs> like, oh god, the ant fucking turned around. Like, sometimes, I don't know, they, they're all on very set patterns, the ants are. 
Like, a lot of enemies aren't on set patterns, like, some of them just spawn out of nowhere and then, you know, disappear for no reason and, you know, fun stuff like that. Uh, the ants, no, the ants are actually on a set pattern, but the thing is, you have to, you have to know that pattern, right? You have to memorize that pattern, or that happens, you get knocked all the way back down to the beginning of the stage again. Uh, it, it's frustrating. Okay, like, that's Quattro Adventure, is that it's a combination of, you know, terrible game design, bad coding, and difficulty. Um, it just makes Quattro Adventure infuriating to play. Like, everything about Quattro Adventure is just infuriating. Like, it makes you want to just pull your hair out, you know, but, uh, but, if you can deal with it for a little bit, um... No, like, you, you can totally get around this, these problems. Okay, so yeah, man, Linus is so fucking slippery. He's just so goddamn slippery. Okay, we're, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're getting back to the top. <laughs> I, I think I'm out of the monkey's reach now. I think and I hope I'm out of the monkey's reach. Alright, we got a radio part. So we're almost at the end of this stage, um, but it's gonna get harder before it's gonna get easier. I'll, I'll say that right now. Like that. <laughs> oh, oh. Th there's nothing to do but laugh. I mean, like I just I just got stun locked all the way back to the beginning of the fucking stage. Like there there is absolutely nothing I can do other than laugh. It's either laugh or fucking cry. You know, you, you either laugh or you throw a tantrum, and uh, I don't feel like throwing a tantrum. Too old for that shit, so... So yeah, you just gotta laugh. Um, I think really, here's the thing, like, I, I've always kind of wondered, like, what is it... Like, okay, here's the thing, like, when I was when I was little, I had a much greater tolerance for these kinds of games, right? Like, I had a much greater tolerance for, you know, just wasting time, right? And I think I know why, is because, you know, when you're young, and, like, this is probably all the way up until you're, like, 20-something, you know, like, 20, I don't know, probably 25, right? Uh, you have a high tolerance for this kind of stuff, because, you know, hey, you're young, you're gonna live for fucking ever, right? At least, you know, in, in your, your dumb mind, right? You're, you're gonna live forever, so you don't, you don't gotta worry about shit. Uh... But, you know, like, as you, as you get older there, uh, you start to realize that, you know, like, I'm, I'm closer to death than, you know, than birth, and you start to realize that I don't have all the time in the world for this. I could be doing something more productive with my time. And I think it's that sort of, it's that feeling, right? That's why you, uh, it, it's why you might have reservations about wasting your time playing Quattro Adventure for the NES, uh, you know, just beating your head against a brick wall, essentially, trying to play this game. Um, you know, that's why I think you might have issues with that as you get older, like me. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's more to it. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But, like, it is how I feel, right? It's, it's how I'm feeling about now, yeah. <laughs> Okay, level over. Uh, yeah, uh, let's not get too existential, I guess. So, uh, okay, this is the stage that, uh, I don't know, like, it's it's not a hard, like, there's nothing about the stage that's hard. It's all about the bullshit, right? It's all about getting knocked around like a rag doll. That's what makes this stage difficult. Uh, it's what makes it difficult and not fun. You know, difficult and not particularly fun. It's it's that kind of kind of bullshit. Uh, 
Now, there is sort of like a, a I don't know, a, a sweet, you know, tip or trick, I guess you could call it. But, like, because this game is programmed bad, right? Um... Yeah, see, because the game is programmed bad, uh, you can kind of exploit, like, where Linus is facing, right? Like, if, if Linus is facing... Yeah, see, look, like, you can exploit the system so that Linus gets knocked forward rather than backwards. That's really, like, y you have to make use of that. Y like, you have to exploit that. And then I died, because I, I slipped and slided right on off that, that ledge. But, uh, yeah. At least I got some extra lives, right? Okay, yeah, see, look at that. You exploit the slip and slide. Hmm. Nothing I could do. Uh, I would like to remind everyone that the enemy placement in this game is 100% random. Uh, yeah, like, if you don't like it, tough shit. Uh, you know, tough fucking shit. Um, enemy placement's very fucking random. Um... You know, sometimes the enemies will, will, will spawn in a way that they just kind of knock you around and, and beat the shit out of you and, you know... And it's all fun, fun and games. It's all fun times, right? Look at that. That's just perfect. That's just perfect! Ugh. I don't know, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I need more crazy pills. Okay, so I'm, like, I'm trying to notice where the breaks in the bridge are, because there's no... The thing is, there's no way to know exactly where the breaks are. Um, they're just kind of there. Uh, yeah, but they're right, like, right about here. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's turn around. Okay. Like, I'm really, I'm trying to figure out where the brakes are, but it, it's very difficult to know when the bridge is gonna break, right? Like, the only way to know is if, you know, you've memorized it, and I'm sad to say I haven't memorized it yet. I try. I, I try to memorize the brakes in the bridge, but I... I, I just, I haven't yet. I'm just not there yet. Uh, see, like, I... It feels like it's not quite where it was last time. I, I don't know, I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting really fucking tired and frustrated, and I want to do something else. Anything else. Like, it's getting to me. Um... Trying not to let it get to me, but it's, it's getting to me. Definitely. Alright, I'm, I'm... Okay, I really don't want to get knocked off of the fucking thing. Alright, see, I have to turn around so that I don't get knocked off. There we go. Oh god, there's... there's they're everywhere. I can't... Alright, I, I just... I have to keep going. And again, random enemy placement. There's just certain things you can't memorize. No matter how hard you try. God damn it. Like, the thing is, these bees, right, they move faster than you, so... Like, if a bee spawns right fucking behind you, there's just nothing you can do. There's absolutely nothing you can do except get hit. That's it. That's all your ass can do. Oh, god damn it. Game over. I'm tired of getting just just getting punked by these things like it, it's random there's a like it is a game that requires you to make incredibly precise platforming jumps uh like it, it it requires you to have very good timing to have expert memorization of the levels because like that like that random like the bridge crap right it's like the you know the bridge is falling out from under you the only way to know that it's coming is if you have memorized the level you know precisely uh there's no way to know otherwise 
So, like, I, I mean, for a game that requires these things, and to also have a random element where enemies can just spawn wherever they feel like it. Like, enemies can spawn in any order, in any position on the screen, and, you know, they move faster than you, they knock you around. There's just no way around it. Like, it's not a matter of skill, it's not a matter of get good, it's just the game is fucking with you. And that's it. The game is fucking with you. Alright, uh, I'm gonna lose my mind if I, if I keep ranting, so let's do it again. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind if I keep talking, so I'm gonna shut up for a second uh, while I collect myself mentally. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm sitting here thinking, right? As I am prone to do. Uh, you know, thinking, it's good for you. Um. Oh god, that's gonna kill me, isn't it? Oh god, look at that! Okay, guess what? I'm starting over. I'm starting over. If you die in the first level, it's just, it's a bad omen. You die in the first level, you're not gonna make it. I mean, you're already down a life, right? And you saw how fast lives go in this game. You know, how you can be doing great, you can be, you know, you can get it, you know, you're, you're perfect, right? You're doing every level fucking perfect. And then, you know, and then you just, you die like ten times in a row, right? Like, you know how fast, how cheap and fast lives are in this game. So, if you die in the first stage, you are done. You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to get as many of the energy bars as I, as I can, as I possibly can. Because I will definitely need all of the energy later. As much as I can handle. Now, if I don't, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be blunt about this. If I don't beat this game in this try, I'm done. Uh, I'm done for right now. Um, I, again, I will maybe pick it up later today, but, uh, you know, things happen, so I might not be able to guarantee that. But I, what I am gonna guarantee is that I am, like, all of my other games are on hold until I finish this game. Like, I, I, uh... Like, I don't know, until I beat at least one Quattro Adventure game, like, I'm not playing anything else. Uh, this is... This is the White Whale. This is what I, uh, I have to do it. Like, I just, I have to. You know, I could be playing, uh, Legacy of Cain Blood Omen right now. I could be, uh, figuring out how to, how to get King's Quest VIII not to fucking crash all the time. I could be doing things, right? <clears throat> but if I do those other things, I'm gonna lose my, uh. Like, I'm gonna lose my senses about this game, right? Like, if I, uh. If I, if I, if I go off and play something else right now, like, I'm gonna lose all of my muscle memory for this game, and then I'm, I'm just not gonna. You know, then it's back to square one. Uh, can't have that. Oh, that was the dumbest fucking death ever. Like I let the I let the fucking slip and slide shit get to me. Like like dying to the slip and slide, it's uh it's never fun. Uh but it's entirely my fault at the same time. Because I know better at this point. Like I, I know how Linus controls and I, I should like I should know better.
Keep it moving. Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go for this extra life. Uh, it might be stupid to try, but uh, I'm gonna try. Yeah, see, it's real easy to get killed going for that extra life. Um, I've died many a times just trying to get the one up. Or, you know, it's, it's not even a one up. It's a, it's a fucking chance, right? It's a. You know, you get a little energy, and, uh, you know, if you get five of them, then you get an extra life. It's, it's not a guarantee. Alright, level one com- or level two complete. I always think this is level one for some reason. Uh, it's probably because this is the first real level, like... <clears throat> like, the first level of the game is not a- it, it's not a fucking real level. It's, a uh, it's a diversion, at best. Oh, wow. That's nice. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting frustrated, getting tired. It's a, it's a cascade effect, you know? I mean, once you start getting tired of Line of Spacehead, you know, once you let the frustration get a, you know, get a grip on you, yeah. I mean, really, you know, it, I said it when I was playing Super Robin Hood, is once you go into fuck it mode, where you just don't care anymore, and you're just kind of, you're just beating your head against the game, and, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. Like, once you start doing that, the game is over, and I, that's what I feel. I, I feel like the game is already over. I feel like I've died, like, I've already died twice, right? Like, I've already died twice for really stupid reasons, um, entirely related to my frustration. So, like, I, I really don't feel like I have much of any chance uh, to actually beat Linus Spacehead. But I don't know. Maybe I could turn things around. I mean, you know, there's always, uh, there's always a chance, right? Like, there, there's always a, you know, a little, a little chance that uh, you can, you know, pull a reversal and, and things will start coming out good again. There's always a chance, so <clears throat> rather than just straight up, you know, giving up, I'm, uh, I'm going to give it another shot. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to, uh, to overcome the odds, as it were. Alright, level, uh, level three done. And level four is the one that'll fuck you, fuck you nice and good. Again, this level. Oh, look, that's a stupid death right there. That is a stupid fucking death. Like, that was a pointless death. It, there was no reason for that. I, I slip and, you know, I did the, the slip and slide, but I, I knew. Like, I, I knew that, you know, Linus is fucking slippery, right? I knew that. Why, why did I allow that to happen? I don't know. Okay. Alright, I gotta be very fast. See, th this is what I mean. Random. Like, you know, where those... Okay, look, there were two enemies in my way, right? Like, right there, where I couldn't, you know, I couldn't avoid them, couldn't do anything. And you might be thinking, but Double, you just have to memorize the pattern. You just have to memorize how the enemies spawn. But no, that's not it. Okay, like, the enemies, they spawn fucking randomly. Like, they just spawn completely, absolutely fucking random. Uh, there is no pattern. 
uh, they just spawn. They spawn wherever the hell they want to spawn. Sometimes they spawn high, sometimes they spawn low. Sometimes, you know, three of them will spawn at the same time. And that's always fun when that happens. But no, like, there's no, uh, there's no discernible, like, you know, just pattern to it, right? It just happens. Like, everyone that I've, uh, ever, you know, had in my stream watching me play this, they're always like, oh, it doesn't look so hard, it's, you know, just memorize, 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 but you can't! It'd be nice if you could, wouldn't it? But you can't! You fucking can't! Alright, uh, now I have to not die. See, you know, here's a great thing about the, that radio piece, is when you, when you pick up the radio piece right there, um, guess what happens? The game... The game, uh, like, when, when you're done getting the little radio piece sign, the game just, it completely, uh, like, it just dumps you right there onto a sinking log, and, like, yeah, if, you, if you're not, like, if you're a little bit slow, right, like, if you don't, like, if you don't pick the controller up, you know, right in time, you know, if you don't, you know, if you don't get your hands right there on the controls just right, and jump, you know, just right, and, you know, you'll just, you'll sink into the water and drown. <clears throat> You know, it's so nice of the game to do that, right? To to give you such nice placement. Hmm, those monkeys. Oh, they're always so nice. They they give me a hand getting back to the bottom of the stage. <laughs> like, see, they're, they're, they're trying to help, alright? They're, they're just, you know, they're giving me a hand uh, getting back to the bottom of the tree. <laughs> okay, so again, I, you know, I, I don't think the radio pieces matter. I really don't. Like, so far, every radio piece that i found has been in a place where I really can't not find it. Uh, what I mean is that, like, you would have to be fucking retarded not to to get it, right? And again, there's those helpful helpful monkeys, uh, you know, just giving me a hand, getting back to, you know, just I, I was making way too much progress. Um, you know, they're just uh, they're helping me out with that. They're helping me to undo a little bit of that progress, so I don't so I don't get too far ahead of myself, you know. They're they're helpful monkeys like that. Almost, uh, almost home free here. Almost. <laughs> okay. Man, I am gonna, I am gonna go completely fucking insane by the end of this game. <laughs> like, by the, you know, if I ever finish this, I think I might just go insane. I think I'm already kinda halfway there, too. <laughs> Okay, so you have to really kind of maneuver around in this stage. <clears throat> See, the only worry about this stage is the birds. Um, the birds sometimes, like, like sometimes they'll get you up in the clouds, right? Because, see, when you're in a cloud, you can't really see what's coming. Um, okay, there we go. So, now, yeah, now, now the real Dark Souls begins, because this stage, it's just so fucking random, you have to memorize everything, uh, it's buggy as hell. You know, and I don't just mean that as in, because, like, there's lots of bees and shit. No, I mean, it's, it's buggy. Um, <laughs> alright.
Okay, so I have to try not to... Oh god, like, see, when is a good time to fucking go, right? I don't know. See, that's the thing, uh, this is when I, this is what I mean when I said, game's fucking random. Uh, this isn't like, it isn't like Mega Man or Ninja God, cause like, there's lots of bees and shit. No, I mean, it's, it's buggy. Um, <laughs> alright. Okay, so, I have to try not to... Oh god, like, see, when is a good time to fucking go, right? I don't know. See, that's the thing. Uh, this is when I this is what I mean when I said games fucking random. Uh, this isn't like it isn't like Mega Man or Ninja Gaiden where you know the uh, the enemies just kind of you know the enemies are all on set rotations and you know set pa no like these enemies are spawning at random. There's no way I can predict them. There's no way I can see them coming, you know. No, like, these enemies, like, when they, see, when they start bouncing me around and fucking me up, there's nothing I can do about that, I mean. Like, the only thing I can really do is just kind of sit and take it, um. <laughs> okay, see, like, what, what am I supposed to do here, right? Okay. But, see, here's the thing, like, the game can just, you know, it can decide... It, the game can basically just decide to throw things at me in a way that I cannot dodge them. The only real thing you can do is, if you turn around, you can kind of exploit the system, right? Like, you can, you can kind of exploit the system, uh, so that it pushes you in a, in a way that's kind of beneficial, right? Like, what just happened to me. Uh, here's the thing, though. Uh, there's... there's a health up over there. And I really want that health up. Like, I mean, I really kind of need it. Um... But, I guess, you know, here's the thing. Consolation prize, right? There's a nice little bonus room right here. Uh, that, you know, that helps. That helps, right? Oh, look at that! Got, my ass got knocked right back in. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Okay, I have to- I have to get the radio part. Yeah, see, I have to get the radio part. Um... Turn the fuck around. See, I have to turn around. Cause, you know, that way it knocks me forward rather than backwards. Okay, again, turn the fuck around. Now, here's the hard part, right? You know... What part of this bridge is gonna fucking murder you? I don't know. Alright, oh god, thank god. Last level. We are on the last stage now. <laughs> level 8, Cloud Climax. I believe this is the last stage. I could be wrong about that. <laughs> there might be 10 more stages, I don't know. But this feels like the last stage of the game. It, it feels like it, okay? Because there's only, there's only one more radio part left, and it's probably going to be on this stage. Probably. Uh, no, actually it is. I know it is, uh, cause I've, I've done this before, uh, and I got the last, I got the last fucking part, and then I fucking died. You know, I died due to completely... Look at that, look at that, no chance! Yeah, but, uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, as I was saying, the last radio part is on this stage. Now, maybe the game continues, maybe after you get your radio, it's like, uh, oh, you found the radio, but, uh... But now you have to do something else. Your your quest is not over, Linus Spacehead. You know, now you have to save the universe uh, and rescue all of the, the space wenches. Um, you just don't know. Uh, but what I do know is the placement of these fucking seagulls were really, really annoying. Oh, look at look at that, look at that slip and slide. Now, Linus is a is a big fan of the slip and slide. He just he can't stop moving. Uh, it's kind of a, a weird quirk of his. Uh, if only Linus could stop moving for like just a second. 
Oh, look at that! Look at that! I fu- Like, I, I was past the seagull. The seagull should not have hit me, but it did. It fucking did. Oh, did it hit me. Um, yeah, so... You know, this is, uh, just one of those fun little things. Oh, look, there- yeah, there was no dodging that. Um, again, the enemy placement is random. If it seems like I'm sucking, like, if I'm just, you know, what, what's he doing? Like, doesn't he memorize patterns? Like, doesn't he- doesn't he get it? Like, no, no, there is no fucking pattern. Uh, the enemies spawn completely randomly. Um, like, there's very little that is static in this game. Like, that- like, those twisters, those- those little tornadoes, that's really, like, the only thing in this level that is static. Uh, everything else is random. You know, the the seagull placement is 100% fucking random. Uh, they can just come out of anywhere. Like, they can come out of anywhere, at any time, any place. Um, you just don't know. You don't know when they're gonna happen. Um, and you just have to deal with that. Like, you know, if the... And the, sometimes, like, the game has spawned, like, three seagulls, like, all flying in a, in a direct line, like, a, in a conga line, straight at me. And, like, there's no chance, right? There's no chance I can dodge that. There's no chance I can do anything about that. Um, but, like, when that happens, you're just fucked. You're just fucked. Like, that's the only answer I have, is, is when things like that happen in Line of Spacehead, you're just straight up fucked. So that's the last part of the radio. Uh, if that was all I had to do, the game would be over now. But, uh, no. There's, there's more to Linus Spacehead. There's a lot more to Linus fucking Spacehead. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that seagull to fly by. Okay. Now, see, sometimes the game will, will uh, decide that it wants to fuck with you a little bit today, right? So what it'll do is that. See, it'll spawn a seagull, like, right fucking there. Like, right where you have to deal with it. Here's what I'm gonna do. There, see? It's a free launch. Okay, here we go. We're... What the... <laughs> what just killed me? Like, I, I didn't see a seagull. Yeah. Uh, guess what? I just died because a seagull decided to spawn right off the side of the screen. Again, like, I could- there was no way I could see that coming. There was no way I could see that thing coming. But, uh... Oh, look! There, there we go. There's the, um, you know, two seagulls spawn in a, like, in a line pattern right in front of me. Uh, you know, nothing you can do about that. Uh, you know, that's just fun all around. See, all you can really do is you just have to go back. Uh... I have one life left. If I die one more time, I'm like, if if I die, I'm done, and then I'm done with Quattro Adventure for right now. Um, I tried, man. I tried, <laughs> but yeah, Linus Spacehead is. Uh, I don't know. It's just there. Linus Spacehead has no shortage of ways that it can kill you for completely unfair reasons. Like, okay, see, like, right there, what just happened, like, I needed to go forward because, you know, tornado, right? Well, like, I had to go forward because of the seagull, but... I don't know, see, the, the game gets you kind of stuck in a weird pattern sometimes, where you don't really have an option. You can't really go forward. Okay, just come on, come on. There we go. Oh no! Look at that. Linus, no. The game really likes to rob you of your progress. I mean, it's real good at doing that. Just knocking you back to, like, the beginning of the level. It's really fucking good at doing that. <laughs> no, I'm I'm getting too old for raging. Um, I get frustrated. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I get fucking frustrated. Uh, 
But no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rage against the Nintendo uh, at this point in life. <laughs> Much as I may want to. Um, okay, let's just there. I, I try to exploit the system where I can. You know, like whenever I, I see a chance to exploit the uh, the system, I, I try to try to go for it. Hmm. It is just oh. <laughs> yeah, far too old to, to be throwing the controller. Uh, did enough of that, uh, you know, did enough of that back when I played this game in 1991. Um, yeah, I, I think I got all my, my anger about this game out back then. Um, you know, now I'm just, uh, I just want to beat it. There I go. Game over. Game over. Ugh. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. Man. Well, I don't know, this this last stage, it just has me beat. I mean, I, I want to... I want to beat the game, I want to get it over with. I mean, honestly, I want to beat any one of the games on Quattro Adventure. Like, okay, here's the thing, see, there's four games on this cartridge, and I'm getting really close to beating Linus Spacehead. Um, I can get really far in Super Robin Hood, and Boomerang, no, Boomerang Kid just kicks my ass. I can't, I can't even do that. And then Treasure Island Dizzy, I mean, like, okay, here's the thing. You want to know what I think about Treasure Island Dizzy? It's an adventure game, right? Like, it's a really long adventure game where you have to collect items and do all kinds of crazy shit. And, uh, well, you know, here's the thing. You want to know what I think about Treasure Island Dizzy? Uh, what I think about that? Um, okay. One, two, three, yes, you can die in the first three seconds of the game. Yeah, that's what I think of Treasure Island Dizzy. Um, it's too easy to die, and you don't get any lives, you don't get a, a health bar, no. You die once, it's all over. One time. You know, it's, it's fucking dead is dead, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, I can't do Treasure Island Dizzy, I, I don't have it in me for that. Boomerang Kid, I don't know. Um, yeah, Boomerang Kid is, like, okay, the, the problem with Boomerang Kid is the controls are terrible, uh, there's falling damage, like, I, I mean, why, why is there falling damage in this game? There shouldn't be. Uh, it's timed, like, oh god, it's timed. So, like, you have to, you know, you have to be real fast, right? Like, if you're, if you're, if you're too slow, you know, if you, uh, if you want to take your time and, and, you know, think, before you jump, because, you know, jumping can kill you in this game, uh, no, you can't do that. Um, you're on a, a really strict timer, and if you, you know, if you wait around for even, like, two seconds, you can fail a stage. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I think, like, if, if, like, uh, if the boomerang kid here, if he falls, like, about twice his height, right, like, twice as tall as he is, if he falls from that height, he's dead, and that's really not a lot of height. Like, see this right here? That is the most you can fall. Like, if you fall one pixel further than that, you will die. Um, that's just reality. Um, so, yeah, you have to make very careful fucking jumps. Like that... Oh god, that... Oh, if I... You know, if I jumped just a little further, it would have gotten me. And, you know, here's the thing, I actually would enjoy this game if it was programmed better. Like, if the if the jumping controls were alright, I wouldn't mind it. Um, if you didn't have to start the whole game over from the beginning, when you die for a completely stupid reason, like if there was a, there was a password system, right? I wouldn't mind it. But, no, like, th this game, um, and, and you know, what if it was just like an arcade game where there's no ending, right? If it was an arcade game where there's no ending, I wouldn't mind it either. No, you don't fu- Who the fuck kind of game do you think you're playing here? This fucking boomerang kid. You know, you, you run around and you collect boomerangs and you die. That's what you do. You don't throw fucking- Get the fuck out of here. Get the- Just get the fuck out of here, alright? What- 
Like, where, where do you think you are? You think this is some kind of good game? <laughs> Ugh. So, okay, I think I just beat the Outback. So, alright, you know, we just beat the Outback. Get ready to go to the castle! Yeah, so now Boomerang Kid has to go to Castlevania. He has to he has to beat Dracula. Um, you know, we have to find his body parts and spread his ashes around and I mean, you know, it's all this is this is very typical, you know, Boomerang Kid business, okay? I mean, this is the logical progression for me. I don't know about you. All right. So, Tower of the Forgotten Knights or the Shadowy Mansion. I don't know, I'll take this one. So yeah, there's a there's a little trickiness to this, right? Like the the platforms erode from under you, right? And that's a problem. Oh yes, that is a problem. Um But here's the thing, okay? Is the platforms erode out from under you? Oh right. There's the falling damage. Um I just demoed it for you. Like, you know, did that look like it would kill me? Like, it did- I didn't think it would kill me, but apparently that's- that's just the right height. Just the right height. You know, just the right height to kill. So, okay, I gotta think here. Um, how do I want to go about this? Oh, right, I can't think. I'm on a time limit. <laughs> you know, what am I doing? I can't think about what I'm doing. I'm on a fucking time limit. I'm probably already dead. Like, I don't think I have enough time to beat this. But maybe I do, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> well, I was gonna die because of the time anyway, right? So, that was a mercy killing. That, that was just a mercy killing. Just, you know, just putting me out of my misery before I waste too much time. Good, that, that's good. Uh, you know, the game is being merciful. Uh, I like it. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, so... I have to get that other boomerang without dying. Um... How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Well, I do that, apparently. That's how I get up there. You know, for a second there, I was really worried that it would just, you know, take me out. Oh, eight seconds, seven, six, oh. Okay, so, let's try the secret chamber. Okay, so there's moving chairs, there's weird platforms, uh... Oh, what, what is this? Oh, oh, look at that! Fall damage! I took me some fall damage right there. Okay, uh... See, like, the thing is, you want to sit and think about this, right? Like, you, you want to sit and think about it, but you can't. You can't fucking think about it. Because if you stop and think about it, for more than, like, you know, a half of a second, like, you're gonna die. You're gonna fucking die. Oh god, a boomerang just appeared. Like, I just noticed that. A, a boomerang just fucking appeared right there. Oh, that chair just started moving. I, I didn't see that coming. Well, I died. Back to the beginning of the game. Back to the beginning of the game. Okay, you know, all right. I won't give up just yet. I, I I'll actually attempt to play Treasure Island Dizzy. Um, <laughs> now I, I don't trust no, you know, I don't trust no walking chairs. Uh, never trust walking furniture. Um, it just ain't natural. So okay, here's I'll, all right. Like I'm I'm gonna play it for serious, right? Um, so yeah, Treasure Island Dizzy. You know, it's an adventure game. It's fun times, right? You know, kids love adventure games. You know, hey look, you can kill enemies, that's fun. You know, Treasure Island Dizzy, woohoo, we're having fun! We're collecting items and we're just, you know, we're having fun and we are fucking dead. So, uh, you know, you might be asking yourself, why did that happen? Um, I'm sure it's somewhere in your mind, right? Like, why did that just happen? Um, you know, did, did God strike Dizzy down? Uh, no. What happened was, um, you see the, uh, the, these torches in the background on the bridge, right? Well, you know, they are in the background, you know, you can walk right by them, no problem, but if you jump into the torch... Look, if you even jump near the torch, 
Like, look at that. You know, you don't even have to jump into the torch. You just have to jump next to it, and it'll fucking kill you. Like, that's how fragile Dizzy is, right? Like, he's that fragile that he just dies if he jumps near something. But hey, look, at least he can kill bees, right? Oh, also, he rolls around like crazy. Like, like, look at that. I'm not, I'm not touching any buttons. He just, he just rolls all over the place. He, you know, he's an egg. He, well, you know, he's, he's a fucking egg. He just rolls around. <clears throat> you know, this is a thing, but I already know what it does, so I don't need to interact with it. Oh, look, an enemy. Oh, look. What, what's happening to me? Why is Dizzy moonwalking? What, what's going on? Well, what's happening is, is that I, uh, I jumped into a purple B and that, uh, that inverted my controls. Um, so left is right, right is left, you know, everything is wrong right now, and, and Dizzy just, he's moonwalking. You know, I mean, hey, like the game wasn't, like it wasn't a challenge enough, right? Oh, hey, look, there's a trap. Oh, I bet I can... Like, look at that. Good thing I saw that coming. I mean, it's a good thing the game easily telegraphs all of its traps, right? You know, let's 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 keep moving. Um, oh look, there's some money. Well, I think I'll. Oh look, I got killed by a trap that was off the screen. Hmm. So, yeah. Okay, let's do it for real this time. I've I've shown off. You know, I've shown off uh, quite a bit of the cheapness, but. You know, let's try to do it for real, okay? Um, but you see the problem with this game, right? Like, this is a fucking adventure game. I mean, it is an adventure game. Like, it's not short, it's, uh... I mean, goddamn, you know? Like, this is a long game, and, and there's a lot of things that can kill you, and it can kill you for no reason. And when you die, it's not like... Like, it's not like Super Robin Hood, or Linus, or or even the Boomerang Kid, where, you know, it gives you a few tries. No. When you die, it's back to the beginning. You know, you lose all your items, you lose every bit of progress that you've made, um... It's all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> uh... So, see, here's the thing, like, I'm, I'm walking around, uh, this tree fort, and I'm, like, I am so desperately afraid that something's gonna, just gonna take me out, right? Because we've already seen that the traps are everywhere. Like, like, the world of Dizzy is a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous place. It's full of traps. It's full of death and danger. <clears throat> uh, so, you know, like, I'm scared. I'm scared to jump. I I'm scared to do anything in this game because it might kill me. So... And, you know, again, I wouldn't fear death so much if it wasn't so incredibly permanent in Dizzy. Um, you know, Dizzy dies, Dizzy dies. He's done. He's done with life. But, uh, mm. Uh, I think I'd rather, I don't know, I don't even know if there's a Smurfs game out there, but, like, I'd rather play a Smurfs game right now than this. And that's a terrible, terrible thing to say. <clears throat> okay, look, look at that shit. There's another trap. Right there! Like, look at that! There's a trap right the fuck there. Just right the fuck there. Just waiting for me. Okay, so here's, here's a thing, right? Like, I just got a bunch of items, but here's the thing. There's another item... Uh, there's another item I need. Yeah, see, there's another item that I need, and it's pretty close to here. So, like, I need to drop some things. Uh, I need to carefully drop some things. So, alright, I need the snorkel. Okay, the the snorkel is something that I need, and the sh The gravedigger's spade is also something I feel that I need. I don't need the, um... <clears throat> yeah, I don't need that other thing, though. That's That's something I can get rid of. Uh, yeah, never heard of that. Uh, so, okay, here's here's the thing, right? Oh, ooh. <clears throat> so here's the thing. You know that Dizzy dies, you know... Like, he, he fucking dies to everything, right? You want to be careful with Dizzy. So, naturally, you'd want to do this, right? 
you'd want to just jump right off the edge of a, of a very, very high top uh, for no reason. Of course you would, because you see, there's a, there's a cloud with a bunch of items on it that you need. Um, yeah. Now, you might be thinking to jump off the side of this, right? That would be a mistake, because if you jump to the right, um, yeah, if you jump to the right, uh, you can actually, like, you can accidentally land on the torches. Like, they, they spaced it out just fucking right, so that, like, if you take a jump, uh, you'll actually land right on these torches and die. Like, they knew! They fucking knew! Yeah, they expect you to make lots of blind jumps across multiple screens. They, they fully expect you to do it. Um... So, like, okay, here's the deal. Uh, here's the deal, right? I need to drop all these items. See, here's the thing, alright? What I need to do now is I need to go underwater, right? But here's the thing. The item that you need to go underwater, the rubber snorkel, um, you can accidentally drop it. And if you accidentally drop it while you're underwater, guess how dead you are. Guess how fucking dead you are. You're really fucking dead. So, so what you kind of have to do, what you kind of have to do, right, is you have to manage your inventory items in a way... Uh, you, you kind of have to manage your inventory items in a way that... Yeah, see, you have to manage it. Uh, well, you know, here's the thing. As far as I know, there's only one item I need right now. So I'm gonna put the snorkel on the bottom. So I can hit the button... See, I can hit the button, uh, three times, and then it drops. <laughs> well, you know, there is, like, there was that corpse. Uh, I do have to dig that up, but, um, not yet. Uh, I, it's magically protected, so I, I can't dig it up just yet. But anyway, see, now that I have the snorkel, um, yeah, now that I have the snorkel, I can just, you know, I can get the money, it's all good. Um, mm, screens, the, the multiple screens, they don't feel good. So, uh, yeah, again, like, I'm really terrified that I might, that I might accidentally drop the snorkel. Because if I accidentally drop the fucking snorkel, I am dead. I am very dead. Um... Oh, that's a, that's a jump right there. Okay, I have to... There we go. So again, if I if I accidentally drop that snorkel, oh god, am I dead? <laughs> but see, here's the thing: there's items that you have to pick up under the water, right? Well, that's kind of the thing: there's items you have to pick up under the water, but you also have to, you know, like there, there's items you got to pick up underwater, but you also need to uh, not drop the snorkel, because if you drop the snorkel, you die. Can't emphasize that enough because I've died to it many times. So here's the thing, like I, I don't know if I can get up there. I don't know how to. Like it looks like a puzzle, right? Also, I mean, I guess you know Dizzy can't get up there, right? So, so what do I do? Well, here's the thing. It's like I, like clearly I need an item to to move this, right? I don't know what item would do that. You know. But, uh, I don't know, I, I'm not gonna be able to beat Dizzy, so, so watch, I'll demonstrate what happens if I'm, like, let's say I'm, I'm cycling through my items, right? Like, I'm cycling through my items, I'm, I'm, uh, maybe I'm picking up something, cause, you know, you can only have three items at a time, so, like, okay, I go to, you know, I cycle my items, and, oh, look, I drop my snorkel. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, the thing about Dizzy, like, I have no patience for Dizzy. Like, I, I can feel my life just drifting away. I can, I can feel, you know, time escaping me as I play Dizzy because it's just so easy to die. And you die, and you go back to the beginning. And I just, I don't know, I don't, I can't deal with that. You know, I, I can deal with all the other bullshit games on this cartridge. You know, I can deal with what they put me through, but I, I can't deal with what this game puts me through. Not this one.
it's just, it's the one. It's the one I can't do. Ugh. And that music. That music. But, uh, yeah. Um, I think I'm done with Quattro Adventure for right now. I tried. I really, really tried. I gave it my best. I, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe I need, like, a, a training montage or something. You know, psych myself up for this. Um, before I give it another go, but... But no, the game beat me. It beat me this time. But next time, who knows? Maybe I'll beat Linus Spacehead next time. I, I think I'm getting real close to it. But yeah, um... I might be back later. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave it my best. I might be back later, like, uh, I don't know, around... Like, I don't know, maybe 6 o'clock or something like that. I might... I might give it another shot, right? I might do another marathon, try to, you know, try to get it, but for now I'm done. I need I need time away from Dizzy. I really need time away from, from Dizzy, from Super Robin Hood, from Boomerang Kid, from from fucking Linus Spacehead. I, I need to get away from it all. So, yeah. See y'all later. Uh, you know, tune in again if you want to, if you want to see a grown man struggle and beat his head against a brick wall. Uh, but, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Bringing it all down. Later.